Welcome to Gehenna Gaming, where we tell dark stories and support inclusive gaming. This is Strixhaven after the fall. I am April Reagan, and I'll be your DM for the game. But before we do anything, let's meet our cast, starting with Prince. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Prince, also known as Devils and Dice around the internet, and I will be playing Kumalani Wordslinger Renar, also known as the Kumo. Uh, he's a real G, uh, he has a big sword, and he's not talking about his rapier. Uh, both of our pronouns are he, him, and we're about to get it in. Rachel? <coughs> Hi, I'm Rachel, Miss Petty Dreadful Online, she, her. Tonight, I am playing Savka, she, her, as well, um, and she's a bard. Lovely. Vin? Hi, guys, I'm Vin at VinVoxVA on Twitter. My pronouns are he, they, and I'll be playing Cynthia Flamcata, she, her, uh, Tabaxi Wizard. Wes? Hi, my name is Wes Franks. You can follow me on Twitter at Thirst Trap Moth or Carrying Comfort Studios on Twitch. Um, I'm not going to talk about any weaponry I have, but I will tell you that I am playing Kel Balam. Their pronouns are they, them, and they are a halfling warlock who doesn't use a rapier or a longsword at all. Bully. Hey guys, I'm Bully Table Goth. My pronouns are he, him. Today I'm playing Manuka Honey, the gnome artificer. Pronouns she, her. Can't wait to get started, guys. Let's go. I love the energy that we have brought into this place. This space, it's going to be wild. Nothing has ever made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> the reactions? <laughs> oh, that made me I happy. I don't know if I could... Um... <clears throat> Gehenna Gaming <sighs> is sponsored by Die Hard Dice, Session Zero Clothing, and 1985 Games. Make sure to check out the links in the chat and use code Gehenna at checkout to save 10% on dice, TTRPG clothing, and wonderful gaming accessories from our friends at these com companies. Also, just to let you know, a little bit of a content warning. Safety tools are in place and have been discussed with the cast. Some adult themes, sexually charged scenarios, substance abuse, violence, and all the dangers and realities that come with college in a magical world can occur. So, I think that's everything. And now we're back on to the show. So, last week, we left on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Kumo had just barged in, well, not barged, bust into a room with a satyr female with her hands around a yellow orb yelling, I can't stop it, as they were trapped in a time loop. And right as that happened, they were, poof, back at the Fire Jolt Cafe with 20 minutes to get to class. Um, Kel is just going to instantly stand up and start heading towards the door. Not even paying Kumo attention. does not like Wait. this. Did, did y'all, the Kumo, did you see what the Kumo saw? We have yeah, exactly is, 20 uh... minutes, Kumo, yes. Yeah, we should just walk and talk, let's go. Okay, walk yeah, but uh, what, what, did, did anyone recognize what that was? Actually, can I, can I do a check to see if I have any recollection or understanding of what this orb that was being pondered is make a arcana check with disadvantage because kumo was the one who bust in the room right before the time loop hit so we'll see if you got mm. any kumo will do the same thing but you do not have to have disadvantage because you were there and saw it full on okay how do i give myself disadvantage just roll twice and tell me the lower one the kumo has a 20 20 Dirt. 11 11. Uh, Manuka, from what you could tell, there is a time loop going on. There is some magical energy that is resetting the time loop for about 20 minutes. Uh, centralized somewhere in that room. Kumo, what you would know with that role and with what you saw, uh, what she was working on was a time device. It, it released a type of magic. It sent a time wave. You do not know exactly what the item is because you have not studied time magic or creation of time machines. But you okay. do know for a, as far as you could tell that everything is happening is coming from that orb that she is holding on to. Uh, the Kumo is walking and talking and uh, relaying this to the party. Okay, so what are we going to do about it? Uh, the Kumo has two ideas one 
break it. Two, break her. Is this the same fawn from um, the mimic attack a couple months ago? No, that one is a different one. That one was more of a fawn. This is more of a, a deer satyr. I guess okay. it'd be the same thing. But no, it's a different one. Okay. The Kumo would have let you know about the other one. The Kumo knows that one inside and out. Gross. Agreed. Uh, great. Fantastic. No. Hated everything um, about that. Uh, it's a device. So that Kuma? means it can be. Yeah, Manuka, do you think you could take it apart? Uh, you know, yeah, I mean, if I could get close enough to it, I could probably figure out uh, what makes it tick, how to fix this. Okay. Uh, are we there yet? Uh, yes, you can be. I was going to give you a moment okay. to discuss. As you, as Manuka is saying that you get to the steps and you see. Again, oh, I lost that page. Your friend Savka and three other people discussing uh, the most recent loss or the the no 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 swim team choreographer. And you just brush past and into the room. Kumo, you leading the way, are able to get straight to the room. Uh, as soon as I get into this room, I want to cast. Uh, calm emotions on this person. Ooh. How does that work? Uh, do, do, do. Okay. You attempt to suppress strong emotions in a group of people, each humanoid within 20 foot radius, sphere centered on the point you choose. Wait. Does she count as humanoid? Yes. Okay. I'd have to make sure because it, you said satyr and satyr are fae. <laughs> I will allow uh, it. I can su suppress any effect causing the target to be charmed or frightened. Uh, also, I can make the target be indifferent uh, toward creatures that is hostile towards. I don't believe she's hostile towards us, but she might be charmed or frightened. And even if she's not frightened, Kumo still wants to calm her down, if possible. As soon as you get into the room... 15 charisma save, by the way. That's a natural one. I'm cursed this week. Uh, so, she fails. Tell me what it looks like as you just walk into this room and do this. What's the spell look like? What do you, how does it look when you cast it? Uh, so, the Kumo basically walks into the room and says, The Kumo says, Chill. And, and you see magic flow, purple sparkles fly off Kumo's hands towards her and hopefully relaxing the situation so she's not so tense. And maybe she can actually tell us things. As that happens, you see the, the purple sparkles float delicately towards the satyr female as the gold light starts growing and growing and you see rings on this device start spinning faster and faster and she looks up. Oh, hi. Hey. This is gonna. This doesn't work right. So um, you should probably run. Yeah, this is like the fifth time we've gone through this. You too. Oh, you too. Uh, Kel is going to make their way farm. and kind of. <sighs> I wish I had taken. I want to cast identify on this thing. I would like to utilize my use of identify. Okay, so you're going to use a spell slot thing. to do this. Uh, so it's technically not a spell slot? If you want to do it takes ritually, 10 it takes 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. So I'm asking you what you would like to do. No, this is, uh, you can choose, uh, once per long rest, you can cast the chosen first level spell without a spell slot. You can also cast it using any spell slots you have. It's not ritually. I just perfect. don't use any of my spell slots. It's okay, a wither so bloom primer. you can only use it once per day. Yep. Okay, yep. perfect. You and so you just see, it. you see, yeah, like. you, you see Kel just like pull out this primer. Um, 
and looking very frantic and very like confused and trying to figure out and like looking at these glyphs and then all of a sudden you see their fingers almost like getting pulled by webs or strings start making like the readings and like pulling out a pencil and drawing and figuring out exactly what this thing is almost like their hand is being guided by something some other force that's helping them Kel, as you're doing this, you feel a very cold, bony hand wrap around yours and gently <clears throat> guide it as webs grow out of the fingers towards the device and wrap around the device. Ever, anyone who wants to see if they notice this, roll me a, a, a perception. Let's go. Uh, nope, Kumo is a conversation one. right now. Kumo is like, so uh, Kumo wants to know about you and this device and how you got into this situation. Respect it. I respect it. I respect the game. Also, Cynthia, check your Zoom messages real quick. Cool. If only I knew how to roll. <laughs> I can't find it. I will say you will see Kel kind of like look over their shoulder almost and they just say thank you quietly. As this is happening, the webs wrap around and little spiders start to crawl up the webs back to you, Kel, and whisper in your ear, we don't know what this is. We've never seen this before. This is new. It controls the time, but it has no name. We don't know where it came. What is this from? What is this from? I want to say out loud to the to the satyr. Well, before we do that, uh, Kuma, what were you saying to the satyr? And soft, or, and anyone who rolled perception, tell me what you saw. Got it. Mm -hmm. Ten. Savka, you do see the webbing, and it start to move a little as if something was crawling across it, but you can't really see the spiders. Savka, you saw nothing. I'm blind. It's a very big, um, glowy light. Yeah, I got a nine. Nuka was walked in, goggles on, which I can't actually see with those on. Uh, got ready to uh, get in there and try to figure out what this thing was. And then Kel walks up to it and starts whispering to it. She's like, yeah, okay. That was the plan, right? Everyone heard that. We said Kel's the expert I'm, on these things. I'm so summoning, uh, I was going to summon an unseen ser servant to help Manuka. You just, you're going to see, you're going to see Kel just like, just like talk to Sarah and be like, what is this? This is unheard of and it's like it's fine i'm helping over to manuka uh, i am gonna do detect magic since he's up there on it instead of identifying it though uh you don't have to detect magic i'm giving it to you this is magic without casting detect magic you and can you know it's time magic, magic already because you already know it's time <laughs> magic using that spell won't really give you anything else uh kumo was was basically asking her like who she is and how she got in this situation essentially uh, as Kel, you're also asking, she looks over to Kumo. Oh, I'm Darastrix. Um, I was wandering and we had to start a new project and I wanted to make something so I could, I have so many classes to take and I wanted to make something so I can do multiple classes and go back and forth. And I, I think I messed up. The Kumo instructions can weren't very to clear. This. Uh, the Kumo wonders if you have the instruction manual instructions there's no kind of instructions nobody's ever made anything like this this is completely brand new this is this is this is the tampering with the time sphere or whatever you want to call it timelines spheres ley lines things that need continuums um i think at this point while they're talking if manuka hasn't gone up to look at it yet and is sort of doing like oh i guess kel's looking at it i think Savka just grabs her arm and like pulls her up to look at it and it's going to try to help with whatever Manuka is doing. Okay. Because that was the original plan. Uh, Kel is going to look at Manuka and say, I can't get a read on this thing. It's completely brand new. So if you fix it, you get to name it. Congratulations. And Cynthia, what are you doing right now? And not panicking, because Cynthia never panics. She is a bastion of composure. We all need Cynthia in our lives. 
Indeed. <laughs> and if you didn't I catch my sarcasm, that's a lie. That, that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Cynthia's panicking in the corner. Cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. I was going to roll insight, but I was like, no, I don't have to do that. <laughs> it's like the detect magic spell. You get this one for free. Manuka, what would you like to do? Uh, Manuka's trying her hardest not to make this about her. I twitching a little bit, keeping words in as there is an actual problem to solve right now. Um, and there's a lecture that can happen later. Uh, she will take uh how big is this item so for you it's gonna be it's like a basketball but in this to the satyr it's like a little bit larger than a softball right that's that's mm -hmm. softball mm -hmm. basketball mm -hmm. yeah we're all sports here baseball sure yeah. I love i'd say it would say more like 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 softball volleyball maybe Maybe not a basketball, but like softball, volleyball. Wait, are volleyballs softball and basketballs to, not to the same basketball size? Is no, vo big volleyball difference. volleyballs no. are pretty. The volleyball is close. <laughs> closer. To, they're yeah, not the same size. I feel like no, my they're brain not. Just broke. They how are is, not. They're definitely not. The same size. They are not. It's like some Learning. sports ball that is medium. <laughs> it is much more challenging for me to palm a basketball than it is to palm a volleyball. Correct. If you yeah. know what he means. That one's for free. Um. <laughs> So, both hands on the ball. Um, mm, I, can I do... I, I want to try to get an idea of the structural integrity of this thing. What Manuka wants to know is, is this breakable? Because anything that malfunctions, you can always break and put it back together. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's like a pastime of hers. But a lot of magic items, if done right, aren't really breakable by mundane means. So uh, she wants to get a feel for... If that's doable. Now that you are here, can I have you roll me another Arcana check with advantage? Because this is a machine. Yeah. Yeah, I and I, I was going to say, I was going to get, like, maybe a little tinker tool out, mm -hmm. shield away, and start actually, like, checking the integrity of this thing. Got it. And I think... Inspiring me? Saying, Rachel? Go ahead and uh, take a bardic. How, how do you inspire Manuka right now? Oh, I think it's just the full, like, the pull, like, the get in there energy of like go look at this while Kel is like taking the moment and just sort of ignoring or not taking the moment but like getting in there mm -hmm. pulling Manuka in uh what is that I add? do want to add by the 1D6. way that Kumo is absolutely does not look like he's flirting uh in this particular case which is <laughs> unusual for Kumo but you did notice Kumo used a spell to adjust someone's emotions and thus that would not be cool so the Kumo so you want problems can I can I'm I roll here. an insight to make sure that the Kumo is is a is is an ethical player? Yes, you could you could roll insight on Kumo if you'd like. Perfect, perfect. Not needed. Not needed. That's a twelve. Kumo, what does uh, Kelsey with a twelve on you? Uh, the Kumo is actually being truly and genuine about trying to learn about this person's how they got here, how this device got made, and whatever drew them to being stuck in this uh time loop there is absolutely no uh sexual tension like there is with kumo and manuka perfect oh, oh my this oh conversation's my. happening while the uh anaconda still clung to the tree <laughs> let's let's paint the picture for the people at home before we try to make <laughs> kumo did use the cape to, to and mending to make sure that that's everything right. That's is right. covered up properly. All so right. Kumo made a diaper with his cape. He is a makeshift no, makes banana hammock. He has he has or full cakes. hammock maybe. He, he's like Hades. He has just oh, okay. a closet full of them. That's true. Oh, uh, I got a twenty on my Arcana check. Okay. Before inspiration, so I'm gonna hold it. Manuka, you have never seen a device like this. A device like this, from what you can look and what you know, does not exist. There is time magic, yes. There are things that have been made to help with time and back and forth, but this is so crudely done with parts that don't seem to work. And then you see it deep inside of this thing. 
a bit of corruption, a bit of goo, something that is making this magic not work properly, but still come to life. And you are familiar with that goo. It typically turns things into mimics. At least have you seen it. But under such great magical stress, who knows what something like this could do. Hmm. Uh, do I see any way to extract said goo? You can try to extract the goo. Tell me how you're going to do it, and I'll tell you what you need to roll. Uh, I'd like to use my tinker tools to essentially... So if I'm like... There's a way I could somehow see part of inside this device and see the corruption... Um, take off a panel, do something to where I can essentially open up this thing to expose uh, the thing inside so anyone could get to it. Okay. Pause on that real quick. Kumo, you are asking Darastrix about her life, or about how she found this. She's mm -hmm. just kind of rambling on that she had to make, so I have an assignment, Professor Eccleston needed new stuff, and we had these new projects, and the group projects were coming up, and my group left me. And so I was just trying to make something new. And like I said, I had to get through school. And I was I was going through the swamps, and I found the, this book, and the book told me how to do this. And But I couldn't really take the book, so I just wrote everything down. I guess I didn't write everything down right. And She's just kind of babbling. Does she have the book? Oh, no. I Like I said, I couldn't take it out of the swamp for some reason. It was kind of stuck to the box. The swamp. Is that the one? Uh, and swamps? then Kumo just instantly looks at Kel. Cal, the Kumo thinks you know about swamps. There was a book stuck in a swamp, according to this. What would person. make you think that I know about swamps? Well, because fun and fact, Kumo everyone just looks you knows up and down. That yeah. Witherbloom is surrounded by the it's sledge surrounded more. By a swamp. It is. It's not even the Witherbloom. He's just looking at Cal's like, I mean. Okay. <laughs> You know what? You're not off. You're you're not. You know what? You're not off mark, but you are out of pocket. <laughs> Sal goes. Oh, Kel goes. Kel just sighs and goes. Yes, I might know a thing or two. Uh, who has a high Safka? What's your perception? Your or even is four. Yeah. Your passive is, perception. Passive you mean? Perception is four. Oh no! Passive perception is fourteen. I think you have the highest. Correct. I believe so. Yeah. Safka, you see out of the corner of your eye a door that kind of creaks open, and it looks like so something might have peeked in, and then closes it very quickly. Uh, before it closes, can I hold person? Roll a d20 for me. Great. That is an eight. Oh, I fuck. rolled a nine. No. <laughs> you cast the spell, but it does not hold. It does not grab the ah, person. Okay, I'll mark it. That's sophophobic. Honestly, <laughs> Cynthia, are you doing anything during all this? Logic. <laughs> and Manuka, roll um, me a dexterity check okay. with your tinkering tools. As a bonus proficiency. Oh, uh, can I just follow the person then if the spell doesn't go off? Yes, you can start going that direction. I just say somebody's out there and I just will <laughs> we'll go follow them. Uh, I think Cynthia's actually going to bolt with Soph. Okay. Um, oh, great. There's five of us and two just ran out the door. and We should probably go to the swamp. Do you think we should go to the swamp together, Kumo? Or do you think maybe you and I should go? Manuka, do you have this? At which point, Darastrix looks like, I don't know if you have enough time to really make it there and back. This is going to go off in a, like a minute. I don't know if I can help it. Where's my thing? I don't know how to roll tool. Here we go. Okay, I don't know how to roll this on here. Um, so cool. dex and just add my efficiency. Yeah. Uh, what well, our proficiency is a two now, right? So it's nineteen. Nineteen. You are easily able to remove the first set of rings around this device. It's it's multi-layered. It's going to take you a couple tries. You can't just stick your hand in and pull goo out. 
It's a very complex mechanical device. But okay. you very quickly, deftly are able to pull open this first layer without even damaging anything. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, you just see her like in the zone, just like she just fully sits down, puts this thing like sits cross leg, puts this thing in front of her. Uh, it's just rifling through things. Uh, Beezlebub steps up and she's like taking tools out of like little compartments from him. It's just like going to work on this thing. And she's like, I'm working on it. Work. And she's just in the zone. This is the most calm you've probably ever seen her. Kel is going to, I guess the satyr is still taller than Kel. Kel's like 211. Yes. Is going to go. like six foot tall. Oh, it's going to, uh, it's going Wait, to no, walk satyrs up. Are not six, satyrs are not six Satyrs are like. The satyr's six foot tall. It's a like six foot tall satyr. Six foot tall satyr. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's even better for this image. It's going to go and politely tug on the satyr's, like, 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 a pouch or something or a hand or something. So, excuse me. Yeah. 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 You, do you know exactly where you found the book? Um, we were in the sledge more or the or the bot I don't remember we were okay. looking for supplies and then we, we found the book and then we were back I'm going to take that interaction and I'm going to go ahead and pull it for my encode thoughts by the way my my uh calm emotions only last for a minute so hopefully she's calmer now that we're talking through these things and not freaking back out. Ah! Um, okay, Savka, Cynthia, you are headed towards the door. <laughs> it's a door, it's a classroom. It's the office of a professor. You figure that out very quickly by heading to the door. And as you open it, you see a little human man. Oh, oh hello. Is there a commotion? Were you just looking in there? Yes. Yeah, you could kind of technically it, it is. There, were, is there was a commotion. Yeah, there's like a time loop happening. We lived through this last 20 minutes like five told times her now. She couldn't yeah, make it work. Yeah. I told her multiple times. I told her it wouldn't work. Well, Congratulations, you were right. And with that, I think the time loop would reset. <laughs> I think that's a perfect time. But there's a difference this time. Manuka, mm. you're still there. You still have the orb in your lap. Everyone else is gone. Pride it's... doesn't even notice that anything happened then. She's just still. And then the four of you are back at the fire jolt. Manuka, roll me another dexterity check. Uh, adding the tools again. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not as good. Uh, but I have Inspirator, the Bardic thing. You can use it. This just puts me at 10. 10 does not quite what you were looking for. You try and you try and you try and you bend this piece back but it just kind of flips back. A spring flies in a different direction. It seems like you locked up the middle. It might take you a little bit longer now to get to the core. Four of you, what are you doing? Uh, heading back to the room. Takumo thinks that we lost someone. Manuka's not here. Oh, great. We lost Manuka. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> Cynthia, you're going to have to fix the thing now. Momo thinks that Kel we don't have time to mourn the loss of Manuka, all right? You have to step up now. Am I in the room by now while they're still to, to fading the face? I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to the, I'm going to the swamp. I'm going to the following Cal. Yeah, I, I think we're like going to diverge and like break off. Okay. Uh, Cal, I will tell you, I will give you this because you would know it will take you more than 20 minutes to get to the swamp from Fire Jolt. It's about a half hour walk. No, it's not. One second. <laughs> I got something for this. I think. Yeah, I, I definitely do. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I've got a couple of spell slots. Can I utilize Misty Step to help me teleport 
to to vamp a How couple of times. How far can Misty Step take you? About sixty feet if I use it twice. <laughs> now. I don't want to tell my players how to play their character. I know. And you can I know. do that if you want. And I, I will know. be more than happy. I know. It's a dumb all idea. All of your spell I know. slots to get 120 feet. It's not Dimension Door. I know. Okay, we haven't gotten that far yet in the game. I'm only level four. Okay, fine. <laughs> Again, if you want to Hold choose on. this course of action. I have a question. Yeah. Could we make it faster by running? Like hauling ass and potentially taking exhaustion. double actions and with a really exhaustion. good athletics check. Yeah. Kumo, I would like, I'm mm -hmm, going to say mm -hmm. that you would have an ability to make it there in 20 minutes, but the actual searching of the Sledgemore and the detention bog that surrounds the entirety of Witherbloom campus. Oh, God. You would then have to search there. Because you did not ask her where in the sledge more this happened. Because she doesn't instead know. Instead of that, we're going to go back and ask where. <laughs> you oh, God. have the rights to do anything you want while you two decide. Safa, <laughs> Cynthia. I will two. say this, though. I'll send my familiar out. Okay. Asshole. Asshole will go and check this out and see if they can sniff out anything. And what is your <sighs> familiar again? Right, asshole? Yeah, your, your little asshole cat? Yeah. Okay. You send your familiar towards the Sledgemore. I, I, okay, I've got an idea. Yes, we have to go back and talk to her. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. It, it moves faster than I do. It's, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. That, that's, and, that's great. Uh, it's celestial. And it has keen smell, so maybe you can smell a book in a swamp. Manuka, roll me another dexterity check, please. This time, now just roll again straight. Oh my god. <laughs> Evil. Evil. Nope. Seven. With another bing, a, another spring goes off and you lock it up even tighter. And the time changes back to three sets. Fuck. You have now cut the time down to ten minutes. The four of you return back to the fire jolt. Asshole is with you, Kumo. Manuka. You are still do with I, the device. Do I make it there in that you last make loop? it to, like, the door of the main building? Enough that I could get, say, like, that's progress. Basically saying, like, she didn't give come back with us and, a bar and get a bardic off. Give I just want to. an acrobatics or the other one. What other? Athletics? Athletics. Athletics. Yeah, what are those two? <laughs> Give me one of those. You, you, you got You sprayed it. Um, and I can add an extra D4 to this because I'm going to use one of my Prismari primer charges. Ooh. Oh, I actually don't need to. But I'm going, well, it's fine. It's a 23. Oh, easily. I rolled a 23. You yeah, so I'm not going to spend that. get a Bardic Inspiration of Manuka. You make it right in time to tap Manuka on the shoulder and pop back. Make a progress, a and then if I... we're time looping. Do, do our spell slots come back after every time loop? They do. Oh no! No! <laughs> that's that's what I wondered. I was like, wait a second. Let Hold up. Clear those. Do my bardics come? They do. <laughs> Unlimited D sixes for everyone. Because Manuka is currently holding the device. The Bardic will not reset on Manuka. If you were to cast Bardic yeah. Inspiration on anybody okay. else in the time loop reset, they wouldn't the get Bardic to roll lose. it in yes. the next loop. Got, got it. it. Yeah, got it. Fantastic. But because oh, Manuka gotcha, has gotcha. the device, that is how this will work mechanically. You don't realize that. You do not know that this is this is staying. It's okay. Um, I can still be inspiring. You're very uh, Kel's gonna look at Kumo and says we have to get there quickly. I have to be able to talk. I have to be able to talk to her. I have to. I have an idea. Kumo agrees. Let's go. Okay, let's go. I'm just gonna I'm run. running full speed. I'm Poor running Kel. far from far behind. <laughs> like, long stride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so embarrassing. Poor okay, Manuka's not it's... here to watch Kumo run as fast as possible in a skirt. 
Kuma is just like super athletic. Savka's got like her ballet flats on and is doing like just like wild leaps. leaps to get there, like like running, but with these like long <laughs> leap strides between. And then there's Cal with like his little legs. Dressed very dressed very nicely, just like little not legs. dressed for running. Not what dressed a for distinguished running. Distinguished gentleman. <laughs> Look at I like to think that Kumo's uh short solution resets at the beginning of each loop. Oh my <laughs> so god. So he has to spend time. Unless you remind him. Nope. <laughs> And Cynthia's just being Cynthia. She's doing her best. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. She didn't see Manuka, so she's still convinced that. Oh, she's I, gone. I just say Manuka's still in there. I, I'd let you guys okay. know at the, at the beginning of this loop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kumo wonders if Manuka broke it because the Kumo feels like we have less time. You would all visibly realize, you all realize you had less time this time. Don't put okay, any more pressure I... on her, right? She's got to start yelling about how she's not like other girls and she didn't break it. Now it's just part of the process. Trust the process Thanks or something that. like Manuka. that. Manuka is not like other tinkerers. It... Roll me best a... another check, please, with disadvantage. Hear it. Yeah, she's going to sit there. Uh, looked up because she... Safka said something of encouragement. Realizes that she's alone. Alone, just like always. You know what? They abandoned me. They don't believe in me. I get it. I get it. I get it. Say something encouraging. Disappear. And <laughs> doesn't believe in me. Uh, I, I would have set out. Up. She has a little uh, one of her little tinker things. She has this little noise machine, which is just like almost like a mini drum machine. Something that just makes very loud, just like blast beat drums. But that's like how her workshop is. She's just gonna set out this little device so this just this obnoxious pounding percussion which will help her sort of get in the zone. And Safka's word's still in the back of her head. Oh, okay. I was about to set up for uh Oh, let's see what we could do then. Gotta roll good one of these times, right? You setting up the space, yeah. That'll get rid of your disadvantage. Natural 19 oh. for a 22. Perfect, beautifully. Yay! Everything's going wrong. <sighs> and you just, all the broken pieces you pull apart. And now you see the center. The four of you hit the door at this point. Uh, I'm, gonna, <gasps> I'm gonna look right right at the satyr. Uh, I'm going to cast Charm Person on her. What do I gotta do? Uh, you gotta roll Wisdom Saving Throw and you gotta meter beat 15. I should have made a character sheet for this character. Mm. Good. It's cool. It's cool. I got 89 characters in my D&D Beyond. Fucking 99 problems. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> this one right here. This one's going to be the character I'm rolling with. Oh, it's actually technically a 16 because my rod of the pack keeps her. That was a natural 19. Fuck my dick. She uh, <laughs> just looks at you and realizes you're doing this and be like, you could just ask, you know. I need you to recall exactly where it's at. We went the book. to the we went to the swamp to collect uh to stuff. Mm -hmm. Word that April forgot all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. And we came back and we found a book, but it, we were just we were there. We were where back. Where did you find the book? Did you find it like when you first got into the swamp? Did you find it we when you were in the middle in of the, the swamp? We found it in the swamp. We were walking around trying to collect, trying to collect ingredients, and then the book was there, and then we were back. Landmarks, anything like that to keep an eye out for long it latitude, was, it longitude. Was the, it was the swamp. You are being very vague with this right now, and I really do not appreciate this. I, I don't, what else do you want me to tell you? We were in the swamp collecting ingredients and then we turned around, the book was there and then we were back. You're going to see Kel is going to drag like a stool over or something and is going to stand up to it and is going to go, you're going to remember exactly where you found this book or I'm going to make your life a living hell. Do you understand me? Roll me an intimidation oh, check. Whoa, whoa. Honestly, yikes. Kale, that's a little problematic. I that is uh, 21. 21? <laughs> At which point the satyr 
looks at Kel DeCumo. To Kel de Kumo, looking at Kumo, going, we were, we were, we were in the, the swamp, and we were trying to get ingredients. And the, the book, we turned around, the book was there, and then we came back. It, we were back. It, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened. Useless. He's gonna s- s- step down off of the stool. He... Manuka, you're on. I am going to use detect thoughts on this okay. person. And maybe I can pick it this out, the memory of where this was, and I can describe it to Kel. And Kumo's just like, ignore them. I hate him. The Kumo's got you. You get him out of my lap. He's horrible. Them, Kel. them, Sorry. they. And you're gonna, you, Kel is gonna like look up and be like, <laughs> "You may be taller than me, but I will fold you like a chair." <sighs> I don't trust them. And Kumo, she goes back to telling you the story. From Detect uh, Thoughts, you realize from her story, she was walking through the woods, collect or the swamp, collecting ingredients. They turned around, and there was a book on a crate. And then she was back. There was no in-between looking at the book and coming back. So, walking through the swamp, can I describe where she came from going into the swamp. Essentially, that's what I'm trying to pick yes, out. Yes, you could see that she entered the swamp and had was around the area between the sledge moor and the detention bog. Okay. Uh, and Kumo points out, like, just starts describing details to Kel. It's like, okay, the Kumo's picking this up. And Roll uh, me I will actually a... say Kumo did ask her. Yes, you did. That's fine. Could he do this? Like, the Kumo wants to know if I could you know, see if I can pick this out of your mind. That's fine. As long as they stay away from me. Uh, Takuma will keep you at a safe distance. I'm gonna hit him. Don't, don't do that to them. You see, you see Cal start to roll their sleeves up and like unbutton their vests. Cal, Cal, please, 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 please. Only because Cynthia asked me not to. Thank you. Takuma doesn't want us to be stuck in a time loop. Cal Blam. Kumo, when she Kumo says that she wants to hit him, you see a memory of her training and with a punching dummy. Pop, 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 pop. Flurry, flurry of blows. Pop, 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 pop. On a training dummy. The Kumo thinks this one might be actually dangerous, Kel. So the Kumo. You, you know what? The You're going to see Kel thinks... turn to Kumo and go, and you don't think I am? And just. Manuka. Roll me an arcana check. Kumo is offering a hug to Calvalam. The Kumo oh. thinks you might need a hug. Slightly demeaning. 17. This is a very stressful time. 17. Kumo is uh, this is what I'm going to use. I saw that inspiration, yeah? Yes. 19. 20. 20. With a dirty 20. Manuka. Tell me how you pull out the goo core. Um, so this is like the perfect environment. They come in, they start arguing. There's all this unnecessary tension and verbal abuse being flung. Her little drum machine just doing just blast beats in the background. She's like, yes, all right, this is where I can work. And uh, as she's just like surgically peeling open parts of this actual machine, um, curious so she can maybe study this or learn from it later instead of just having to destroy it but when she sees this bit of corruption this um uh layer of goo um think she is going to very carefully um sort of just like use her trident hand and some of her tools just to uh kind of slowly like get at the edges of it without messing anything up uh, look to her steel defender, Beezlebub. Then she wants to angle it just right where she could uh, slowly remove it and then she's just going to toss it towards her her machine and just say, uh, drill it. You're muted. As you are maneuvering, you get your trident hand and your tools right around this small little base piece and are able to flick this little container that is holding the goo out towards your steel defender. 
And as your steel defender goes to hit it, the goo hits the drill and starts going down the drill. Uh oh. As it has now been broken out of its container and onto a thing. And for a split second, Manuka, you swear you see teeth developing on the drill of your steel defender. What it's are the rest of you doing? Mind defender. Right now. You do not see the steel defender get the goo on it yet. I just want to know what you're doing in this room. I mean, Kumo is just blocking line of sight from Kel, essentially. Kel is just now just stewing over in the corner. It's just like, Kumo is just like, like, you know. This this imbecile, (laughs) this imbecile has caused a time loop and is no help. (laughs) And Kumo is thinking, you know, this whole time, this is exactly what Kumo wanted. Like, Kumo wanted a thing so he could do all of this. Like, do the Hermione thing so he can join every club. Oh no. God. <laughs> Your fucking villain origin story. <sighs> Cynthia. Mm-hmm. In the back of your head, you hear a voice. You could swear it kind of sounds like your father, but a little distant, a little colder, a little bit more of an echoey sound. I can help. And that is all you hear as Manuka teeth are starting to grow on your steel defenders drill. Shit, this thing just is designed to corrupt any sort of device, I suppose. That's that's very that's a problem, but a fascinating problem. Ah, uh, and a problem I'm gonna have to take care of. Oh, fuck. I'm going to see if I can't... First thing, I'm going to just run up to it and see if I can't... Uh, Because the the hands, I imagine just like my my own hand, uh, the hand attachments on Beelzebub are interchangeable. So I'm going to see if I can't try to... uh, I probably have some some sort of kind of like the Winter Soldier arm. Yeah, something I can try to get to to dismantle it uh, if I'm able to do so before. I'm going to attempt that first okay. to at least drop the drill part mm-hmm. so it's contained there. Smart. Savka, what are you doing? Um, I think I was keeping it on, or I was not keeping it on. I was just watching Manuka to see if she needed any help while they had, like, their drama behind her. Um, and she's honestly probably, like, at some point started tapping along to that drum machine. Uh, and so seeing Manuka do that... Um, I don't know if like whole person would work on Beezlebub. It no? is not a human, no. No. It not had to a be human. Whole, okay. It had to be whole creature. Okay. Um then hmm. guess I'll get ready to I'll just hold an action to attack if things get hostile and then uh, I think throw Manuka another bardic inspiration because I have them awesome (laughs) because they're free give me a little nicely done when the time thing comes apart Manuka, you drop the device and go running towards your bees, your bee construct, and are able to. We, take... yeah, never mind. Go no, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Do do. I don't remember. You say we do or don't have a bag of holding. We lost Safka. Ah, uh, you do. 
I say I thought you said something else. Wait, that oh, we, did, we do. Yeah, Wait, we do. what? Everyone has yeah, cause, a holding. You yeah, because I was gonna oh, I was gonna right. use my it's infusion like a school, school to make one, and okay. you said don't bother because you have one. Yeah. So mm -hmm. instead of dropping oh. it, I'm able to just like toss it in my bag. You are very easily able to like knock off the the, the little the little. What is the word I'm looking for? Lever. You hit the quick release lever. You hit, and the drill just falls right into your bag, and you're able to close it very quickly. And uh, oh sweet. You can now add to your inventory. Mimic drill. <laughs> and we'll figure out what happens with that at some point. I don't know what that's going to do. Oh, joy. The magic of D&D. &D. But I think this is a great time to take a break while we uh, try to get Rachel back and get everything reset back up. So we are going to break. This is Strixhaven After the Fall presented by Gehenna Gaming. Grab a drink. If you're enjoying the game, pop into our Discord server to chat with me, the cast, and everyone else in our community. And we will be back in just a few moments.
So, where we left off, Manuka, you have a drill with Mergax Mergaxor's goo on it in your bag of holding. <laughs> um, it has not reached full mimic hood yet, but because of the properties of the bag of holding, it is now kind of in suspended animation in your bag. Where it will never be pulled out ever again. <laughs> you gave me a baby mimic to raise, is what I'm hearing? Yes. Yes. That Kel is, is a going drill. To... Kel's going to look over at Manuka and say, is it is it done? Did it work? Uh, yeah, she'll pop the goggles back on her forehead. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I think I got it under control. More that, uh... That goo stuff. Uh, did y'all yell at this uh, person into telling you where, where this came from? I tried to, but she's being very obstinate, and apparently I'm being rude. Mm, I know That's the type. Kumo, you, <clears throat> it is true, Cal. Uh, a little bit of tactfulness goes a long way. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, it's a stressful situation, being stuck in a time loop over and over, because somebody just decides, you know what, I'm going to try to make uh, something that messes with the space-time continuum, and I'm just going to, you know, put everybody else at the mercy of me just if I mess up. Kel, it's very responsible. Kel, Kel. No, 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 no. I'm My feelings walk aren't walk into valid. the class that they're supposed to be in. <laughs> Kel's, Kel's, like, Kel's like, no, no, no. My feelings aren't valid. No, it's okay. We have to worry no, about so, her. You're so valid. You are, you are so valid. It's just oh, all this yelling after this event is not helpful. Oh, I'm just saying. Fine, fine. I'm going to look over oh, at the I'm going to look over the Seder. I'm bad for being I'm going to look over at the Seder and I'm going to say I'm say you're lucky that Cynthia's here. Are How you long does fear problem? last? Uh, I don't know. Cuz then As a fear? as a condition? Yeah. I I didn't cast fear. Oh, I thought you cast fear. You failed no, a charm no, person. I failed, failed the charm person attempt. Person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she just doesn't like you. She's not afraid of you. For some yeah, she doesn't afraid. like me. Yeah. Yeah. Do we uh I intimidated her. I used an intimidation mm -hmm. roll and I got a twenty. Yeah, that was it. That's what it was. You intimidated mm -hmm. Okay. So oh, what what where where where'd this come from? Do we know that? What's our next step here? So I'm getting that. We know a general area to look for. It's in the swamps. We have to look for a book. Apparently, she's had modified memory happen to her. Or something of that nature. Something's happened. She teleported. Oh, so this, this isn't over? No, it's far from over. No. Kumo will know it when he sees okay. it. No, we gotta get to the source of this thing, or this stuff's gonna keep uh, happening. And I'm not always gonna be around. Well, we have, Kumo will we have to of this. get to class first. and then the Kumo will find the book and make it better. Well, I mean, we can all find the book. Where are we? What do we? What do we got to do now? Class? Class? Yes, class. It's very important. So yeah, we are. We had class. Yeah. Out of the corner of your eye, you see the door, had that the professor was in. Open, and they are watching you. Not you. Is this? Do we know what professor we're supposed to be meeting? Uh, your class is across the hall. Your class is intro to potions. Can you get us a note to explain why we're like maybe going to be 30 seconds late to class? Oh, or sorry. are we? Were, were and I activate the time machine. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to the, I'm sorry, talking to the other teacher who did April, absolutely not, nothing not to, 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 to acknowledge this problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, as you acknowledge this professor, he opens the door all the way and steps out. And now all of you see this human half elven. Gentlemen, very old, very old, with the robes of the traditional professors of the school, and he walks out. Well, I would have stopped it about 10th revolution. How else do students learn if you don't, if you step in and fix their mistakes every time? Okay, well, she didn't learn anything. Yes, because but... you all stepped in. She was handling it. I look at her. Were you handling it? At this time, you actually see on the ground, there are pieces of things. And you can't really tell 
if she was fixing it or building it when you walked in, it's very hard to figure out from what it looks like. And she just kind of, well, kind of. Umo will help you fix it next time. Uh, Kel is going to look at Cynthia and is going to say, Cynthia, would you mind escorting me into the classroom before I have a total meltdown right now? You're muted. You're muted. Cynthia, no, say what's on your mind. You're <laughs> muted. You're still being shy. You're muted so, on it's Zoom. A so it's a software. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a okay. Muted. I was so upset. You can... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, she nods and offers um, her paw. The softest, fluffiest white paw. Kel, Kel is going to graciously take it. And it's just going to shoot a, a dirty look over at the professor and and the satyr. And just do like a I'm watching you. I'm always watching Wazowski. Always watching. Always watching. Always watching. Cynthia and Kel exit the room. Safka, Kumo, Manuka. You are left in there with uh the girl's name I forgot, Derastrix and Professor, as the professor, <clears throat> well, um, I heard you were asking her questions about how she came across the, the, the plans. We have another class to get to. This is a school and you're a professor and you're supposed to prioritize learning and instead you're letting someone else's mistakes get in the way of our progress. The Kumo thinks we learned a lot from this situation. The Kumo is learning about time magic now. The yeah, I mean, Safka, no offense, but that's intro to potions, and this is a, a whole new thing. You would prefer to go back to your intro to potion class. You are more than welcome. If you would like to learn more about the device and help me figure out why and how it came, you are also welcome to stay here. The choice is yours. Actually, Safka, is probably a good idea if at least one of us goes there, you know, just to get an idea in case we miss any assignments or something, you can kind of keep... All of us uh, up to date. Uh, I, I guess. Kumo has people oh, who will Miss take. Honey. No, it's all right. I'll, I'll stay here and make sure Kumo doesn't, you know, do anything weird with this. If you would like to stay in this class, I can have it changed for you. No, Safka was just getting ready to go to our assigned class. Uh, I'm gonna stay and learn about this. Kumo, you can stay if you want. You have my permission. Sounds good. Uh, and I will go Excuse to the me? class I'm enrolled in. The Kumo wants to know if Manuka Honey actually said the Kumo has Manuka Honey's permission. Yes, and I will revoke said permission if you keep asking questions. Right now, I'm trying to learn about this device that I so expertly dismantled, and I have a little bit of an understanding about it already. I understand uh, if you can keep up and learn some things and not hold me back while I learn about this, you're welcome to stay. And I understand right been now... incredibly patient with the Manuka Honey. The Kumo it's just Manuka, honey. Does not need anyone's permission. Now that could be uh, a, 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 a sort of a hint at other problems, maybe. Uh, Kumo but does not want to speak to you anymore, Manuka, honey. The Kumo wishes you to be quiet. As we learn in this classroom from a professor who is much smarter than you and the kumo's like please continue professor i will skewer your fucking sausage if you don't get start acting right i don't care what you wish right now you have an opportunity here to learn from probably two of the brightest minds here at this university i understand you're incredibly attractive you're charming uh there's more that meets the eye here you got layers and i will peel every one of those fucking layers off starting with your clothes if you don't Chill out, all right? We're all here. We want the same thing. And yeah, did it happen that, wow, just me and you are the only ones left in this very tense situation right now? Sure. But right now, we're trying to focus on learning. It's a school, not a fucking brothel, Kumo. I don't know what you're trying to do, getting me all hot bothered. And it is hot in here. Kumo's back, by the way. Kumo is <laughs> literally, like, not looking at you anymore. I will fucking stick my trident between those i got i got a special device for right but all right you were saying professor 
if you are both finished. I am Professor Ikostink Lomar. I am in charge You'll of... You'll know when I finish. <laughs> the Kumo believes this one has a complex. I am the Professor of Chronology and Time. That is Chronology. April can't read. Um... I am Abstractor, Echo St. Lomar, Professor of Chronology and the Possibility of Space and Time and Theoretical Magic. This is a high-level theoretical magic class, and she had found an experiment and was trying to enact upon it. If you would like to try to hunt down the book, I can give you an idea of what they were hunting for in the sledge more, if you'd like. The if Kumo you would like to fight between yourselves... I could send you the detention bog for other reasons. The Kumo is forced to work with the small one as the Kumo is placed in a group and Kumo brings out the paper. The professor looks <laughs> at your paper and before I go on, Kel, Cynthia, you two left first. What's happening with you two mm -hmm, right now? Mm -hmm. See Kel just like hands deep in pockets, walking to the classroom, pulls out a cigar, tries to light it, just he's frustrated, puts it back in their pockets. Goes, I apologize for my outburst earlier. I just, it's very important that I stay focused on why I'm here at this school and I don't get distracted by things like kumos and time loops and all that other thing. No, I, I, I understand. It's, it was very stressful. I, I genuinely cannot fault you for what happened. Sometimes we just need a little reminder, just something to, to bring us back together. I guess, but I mean, I don't do nice. We have Kumo for no. nice. We have you for nice. I don't do nice. You're going to see yeah. Kel, like a, a slight smile go across their face and they go, I'm not like other girls. I don't think that's your line. <laughs> it's, really you genuinely... not. it's really not. It's really not. I think we all just have. Huh? I was just going to ask how you were doing. I apologize. Now that we're not in like a loop or anything, I just, uh, I, I think now that we're not dead or not stuck in our twentieth loop, that was kind of fun. We all have our little quirks, and it just makes life an adventure. It was kind of fun, wasn't it? I mean, until we get to the point where, uh, yeah, everything. Well, but after everything, kind of nice having to work together and kind of put our heads together to figure out what. Hold on. Not that I'm saying that I think it is a good idea that we're still a group and everything. I still think it's a ter terrible idea. <laughs> well, I'm going to get focused on classwork. And I think you should do sure. the same. I, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sokka now is about the time you exit the room. Oh, good. One more of us. Yeah, I got a note, and I hold up the note because I would not have left until oh, thank <laughs> received, uh, received a note. Yeah, permission slip. Yeah, great. Sophie, did note. you read the note? Yeah, absolutely. I would have read it before I took, like, I accepted it. I would have double checked to make sure it was actually an, like we're excused. And as you're talking to Kel and Cynthia, Kumo, Manuka. Kubo, did you show you showed Professor Echostint the paper with your group on it, correct? Oh well, as the professor looks at it, if you are supposed to be a group, then a group you must be. Sokka, you show your paper and look at it, and it all of a sudden turns into a transfer form of turning into advanced po or potions 101 to intro to chronology and meta magic. So and apparently we're transferring. Excuse me? 
I turn the note around. Fantastic. And Kel's gonna like look up at a corner, almost like at a spider web, and kind of squint at it. And then spider like, does like a little nod. And oh god! Away. Oh god! Like, All right. I'm just thinking of like if this fulfills the same requirement on my transcript that Potions 101 would take, or if it's <laughs> yes. gonna screw up the rest of my like like credit Gen wise. Is this gonna yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. check for me? It's gonna yeah, okay. actually yeah. Could I actually graduate one, with two, this? That's a nat one, so you that's know where you terrible. Got to go with uh, you're panicking. Yeah. You have no yeah. idea. Yeah. You are now scared. That yeah, I don't know graduate. off the top of my head. Great. I mean, I'll still graduate, but this is just going to be a setback, and yeah. I'm going to lose out time on my core courses, which is where I'm at. Why I'm actually here. Okay, Safka. No, I'm just trying to think. Is this going to completely wreck? sort of the reason I, I'm here if I have to rearrange. I don't know what next semester is going to look like. I mean, I mean, I, I I don't know the reason why you're here, but I can assume it's to learn magic. And so it's no music. I mean, magic and in, in how it relates to me, but it is specific. Is it? Couldn't you have gone to like a bard college or something like that? Like why? I, I already for, for I, I learned from a, a tutor who was a, a very prestigious professor at a bard college. It just made sense to go to Strixhaven to, to get something different. To diversify your degrees, so to speak? I mean, to con continue my studies, I don't want to keep start at the intro level at, with a with, with a school that where I already know their sort of theory of music or their philosophies. I want to come somewhere. I'm just I just think that there might not saying that you don't deserve to be here or anything. You definitely do. You're very talented, but I don't think that it, it's kind There's of like a whole learning. School that's like bardic magic here, called Prismari, and I'm in it. I know, I know. It just, it just. <laughs> and I know that right every time. The first time you ask me what my house I, is, I know, I know, I know. It's, I know, it's Prismari. I know. It's, it's just. So you would know technically. He's kind of con 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 uh, comparing a. Ivy League education to a community college trade school, uh, like certificate. Yeah. The, also, like, yeah. The and I, yeah, I think. Well, that's that's exactly what like what they're trying to go for is like trade school. Like, why aren't you going for a trade? Like, you're being a musician. Like, because I mean, anyone can can go to one of those and get a degree and learn the basics or you know, basic theory or whatever. I don't want to be anyone. So what are you trying to do with it? Are you trying to teach with it? Or are you trying to? No, I'm going to <laughs> going to write the songs that my children's grandchildren are going to know as classics. <laughs> Make a roll here real quick. See if Wait, what are you rolling? Down. That's that's my job. What are you rolling? <laughs> I'm rolling. I'm rolling a. Uh, I'm rolling a higher low, roll right here. Do you? Do not be offended when I say this, because I am just a small halfling from a small village in a small forest, someplace by a river. But from my experiences, it was never a school or learning that taught somebody how to make a really earth-shattering, beautiful song. It was feeling, emotion, life experiences. And practice and study and perfecting the instruments and you can't feel a song into existing Kel. I mean I'm sure there's probably some bards about that might disagree. Yeah maybe. and I share a house with a ton of them. Apologies I did not mean to offend I just 
trying to understand. Somewhere, like a sculptor is going to chisel away a masterpiece. Every lesson I learn, every instrument I perfect, every dance I choreograph is another piece of rock chipping away at a masterpiece. Just, you're right. I would not try to assume to know your intentions too well or what your limits are or anything. It just, you're right. What about you, Cynthia? Why? Are you I was here? about to say Cynthia. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, yeah, you're right here. Yeah, Kel's gonna just immediately just like turn. What about you, Cynthia? Gosh, darn, I thought I got out of this conversation. That was so beautiful. Out of good shit. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, I, I'm not really one for sharing. I'm here to learn and. Oh, but after Sofka gave such a very touching personal anecdote related I to don't this think thing. you're being sarcastic, but your tone really needs some work. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the first time I've been around people in a long time. It's fine. My tone could use some work. It really is fine. I was about to say, you too have a harsh tone. It's just on a different wavelength, but I, I didn't want to poke holes into anything or try to play, you know, who has the harsher tone Olympics. I don't know what the Olympics are. I am a fantasy halfling in the fucking magic school. <laughs> Again, we're in a school that can go across planes. It's multi-planner. It's multi -planer. You could yeah. potentially know about the Olympics. Kumo for sure does. I do not need sleep, and I can read every single language, so. The Kumo you know. loves volleyball. Big fan of volleyball. So, no share, Cynthia? It's not as fantastic or important. I just want to, I guess, be somebody, be accomplished in some degree, and I managed to get here, and whatever happens, I'm proud. Hmm. So we have a budding perfectionist. Then we have someone who's just here to learn. And then we've I got a girl that's not like any of the other girls. And you're like we a, have a very accomplished machinist. That as well. Yes, Honest. but oh, yeah, that... really pushes forward the other descriptor for more than the accomplished machinist part i mean honestly i would lead with that more often than you know vice versa and then we have a cult leader which what? again we have to keep coming we have to, to be like, it's, <laughs> we can't keep just bearing i know that he is very charismatic and sometimes when he looks at me it makes me feel a certain way but i have to bury that down deep to realize that maybe just maybe kumalani is doing some not so on the level things. I just think he's really charming and we have to watch it. I... Oh, that is kind of culty. Honestly, Manuka's really smart for having us all agree to that pact. Kel, you got to get in on the pact now. <laughs> Me and Pax. Uh... Let's just say I don't like to cross streams too many times. Conflict of interests. I don't so know. you've already made a pact with someone I that compels you to fun. date Kumo? What is what the conflict of interest be? It has nothing to do with Kumo, my pact, but yes, it it would get in the way. This is a long hallway. This is a really <laughs> long hallway. They they really need to. Oh, it's, yep. <laughs> As I thought it was turn, another time loop for a second. Yeah. <laughs> you turn around because you were just at the door across the hall. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really long hall. <laughs> just been out in the, in the middle. As we flip back to Kumo and Manuka, you're listening to Professor Eccleston talk and kind of just drone on about 
the importance of meta magic and chronology. It's actually very interesting if you if you are at all interested in um uh theoretical magic. He keeps talking about how magic is growing and learning and changing and how we need to keep learning with it and growing and creating new items. Um I could give you the list that Miss Drixstata, uh, that's not her name, Dara Strix, uh, was looking for in the Sledgemore, if you'd like, that could probably help. Yes. Yes. And it, you will notice that Kumo is basically hanging on this person's every word. Like, it's just all in on time magic. This is the coolest shit ever to Kumo. And Kumo's like... The Kumo is very much looking forward to this class and learning more from you, Professor. Ah, yes. Kumo, Lani, Renard. And Professor Eccleston kind of closes his eyes and you feel a kind of brush of wind. Um, and he looks at, ah, oh, you have great things in your future. I see many people hanging on to your every word. The Kumo knows. Sorry, I just was reading a message someone sent me. And there's some Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> As Professor Eccleston starts giving you the list. Ah, uh, it looks like poison from nest of snakes, water from the wellspring, and it says materials from the crates. Uh, most of these metal materials, it looks like she got from the random crates. And from her description, sounds like maybe where she would have found the book as well. The Kumo has seen the place in his mind. And Kumo will go there. With the professor's permission, of course. As you're talking, Kumo, can you roll me a perception check at disadvantage? <laughs> uh, six. While you are talking, and this is happening, Professor Eccleston is about to finish, or hands you the paper with everything on it and says, you may take any materials here that you could use or need. Um, my door is always open. If you have any questions about time or magic, please, please stop by again. It was lovely meeting you, and I cannot wait to see what your group accomplishes this year in my class. I see great things. And they hand you the paper. They look at what happened. Hmm, pity. Could have been a wonderful experiment. And walks into their office and leaves. As that uh, is happening. What happened? Uh, let's... Was Kuma about to say something? I was. I was going to say something to Manuka. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Kumo just turns around to Manuka and is like, Manuka, is this not the coolest thing that you've ever experienced before? I mean, seriously. No, yeah, this, time. this is, uh, again, a little, uh, not exactly my forte, but I can think of some really cool things to do with this. Uh, what are you going to do with this? tools. Knowledge. Learning so much. Being in multiple places. Uh, you don't feel like you already spread a little too thin, Kumo? You got a lot of... Uh... Kumo will have more time with control of more time. What are you going to do with all this? What, what's your big... What, what's the, your thing here, right? You seem to acquire all this power and talents and skills and followers. What's, what's the end goal here, Kumo? To change the world. To make the world a better place. The Kumo has been gifted with knowledge and power and thus... The people need to be gifted with the same things, and the Kumo can make it happen. Okay. Just remember, you, know, you, 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 you got a lot going for you, but uh, there's still some of us I might, uh, might want to watch out for. If you can't even handle me, there's a lot of bigger problems out there for you to handle. And I don't know if you're going to be... You have what it takes. The Kumo could absolutely handle you. 
We'll see. We'll see. Let's go catch up with the rest. Okay. Kumo, Manuka, as you two turn to leave the room, what happens? Uh, he needs to make a dex save. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, Kumo. Oh, God. PvP has been enabled. That's a nine. So Kumo turns and steps into the snare trap that she had her little servant set while we were engrossed in uh, listening to this uh, professor explain things as I rolled a dirty 20 on my stealth to do that. Uh, and what this does is... Uh, you feel your thing? Essentially, you're just hoisted... Uh, anything large or smaller, you're hoisted... Hoisted in the air, leaving it hanging upside down three feet above the ground. And you're also restrained until the spell ends. And you can repeat your save at the end of each turn. What does your So I basically like? just got flipped upside down like a rope trap in an old movie or some shit. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so, okay. I, yeah, so it's essentially it was a visible rope. Um, probably just uh, nothing too fancy like most of the things. And you're probably just being held aloft. Probably the homuncular servant is still somehow part of this, to where like this little bee-looking thing is somehow supporting the weight because of how whatever magic is set up with this rope that locks in to be sturdy enough to hold someone Kumo size upside down. Uh, even three feet off the ground probably actually puts him like face to face with with Manuka. Yeah, you're actually uh, mm -hmm. Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. You're like you are recreating the Spider-Man kiss right now. Um, and um, yeah, she's just gonna step nose to nose. What was the last thing you said? You could absolutely handle me. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. No, no, no. I've been thinking about how I would handle you, and I, uh, I don't think you're ready. I just don't. Uh, okay. And the response would be, the Kumo knows that. Despite all of the things you say, Manuka honey, you are just like other girls. And I'm going to use vicious mockery. Do it! Uh, anyway, I can't so... believe they're making us transfer and door opens. <laughs> <laughs> I need a fan for this. It's, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. I refuse to believe that Manuka honey is just like other girls. Ooh, nope. It's a two. Oh, no. I don't care about the damage. This is not meant to hurt you, really. Yeah, it's all a one damage, but really, it's just supposed to just wiggle into your mind to be there. Even though mm -hmm, Kumo's upside mm -hmm. down, I just want to leave you with that because I'm restrained. I couldn't use any other spell I had mm -hmm. except Vicious Mockery. <laughs> so there it, you go. It does. It wiggles in there, and now you just hear it echoing in your head the words that Kumo said to you? Uh, I think with this, probably, because it, it is a spell, it is an attack, and I think Beezlebub, the Steel Guardian, probably just, like, reacts instinctively, like, taking a step forward, and she's going to put one hand out to, like, stop it from moving forward. Uh, she's going to grab him by... Are you wearing, like, that bow thing? Uh, yes. Back, still wearing a bow. Or is it the front? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pull by that fucking bow and pull him in and in uh, plant one on him if he allows it. Uh, yeah, because I think Kuma would be too shocked to do anything else. <laughs> uh, and it is just the angriest, roughest. Uh, there's a moment of flutter where it does get soft and she starts to like, lose herself in it again, but then hardens again. Uh, just sort of pushes him off, leaving him just dangling in the air. That did nothing for me. And I know you've never had any other girl say that to you. Kumo, you can roll an insight check if you want. <laughs> Kumo's still in the skirt, uh, hanging upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Three feet with a I just yes. wanted swinging. to. That's my yes. first thought. I was like, Pff. yeah. <laughs> no, no Kumo did change clothes. That was a whole right. thing. That's right. true. Kumo You're right. You're uh, right. I rolled a dirty 20. 
Oh, I mean, no, I mean, not even needed, but yeah, no, obviously right. there is a, a second of like fighting a smile, fighting. There's a weird lightness in her shoulders when that usual like tense knot in this wasn't there. Um, that's just, it's, it's, there, it's there for a flash before like the demeanor hits again. Does and this then, spell require concentration, by the way? Ooh. Oh, that's, that's an amazing, uh, uh, detail. Let's see. Because I have to make more saving throws. I'm assuming it does, but... Uh, no. No? Unless there's a special... Does it say that somewhere? Oh, yeah, there's a little C next to it if it is. Uh, no, it is not. Okay, uh, cool. But um, I, I still like the flavor of... She, she's dropping it anyway. So after yeah. that, yeah. She, proving that she's not like other girls, because I didn't mean shit. Not another one of these people you could just seduce and ooh and on, whatever. Um, just... Uh, instantly drop it, sort of dropping him on his head just for effect. I, I um, got, I got to see if I land. I have to. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Make, make the save. That was a, a whole seven. Kumo lands on his head. <laughs> Kumo does not very, land very, very. Yeah. Little off your game. The the uh, kiss threw Kumo off. The three of you sure. outside hear a doof, oof from Kumo hitting the ground. Um. But yeah, but she immediately just walking out, kind of like you don't look at an explosion. She's walking out because that's the equivalent of what she thinks just happened. And also so she he can't see her face as a yeah, she goes off, just grabs onto Beezlebub and just lets him start, lets the machine start walking and towing her around like usual. Right out the door and head face just right into Kelsaka and Cynthia. Hey, what's I'm walking here. What's going on? We got transferred to that class. This class? Yeah, oh, the open door yeah. You have notes I can ground. borrow? <laughs> yeah, the professor said uh, uh, Kumo flashed a piece of paper that shows we're all in the group, so we got to take this as a group. I hope you're all, I mean, you're all actually uh, quite smart, so I assume you're fine with that. This is this is way better than intro to potions, right? If you want to know about potions, I, I'll teach you about potions. I, I I got free time to do. I don't have free time, but if if I had free time, I'd use my free time. I can make free time for any of, can of I you here roll to teach on you this some whole potions. Situation. Yes, please. I yeah. fucking dare you to. All right. You can roll insight on this whole situation. Uh, let me. It's see. a fucking eighteen minus one. That is a fucking seventeen. I wonder if I could test out of potions to get it onto my transcripts. Actually, that's actually that's a good idea, Manuka. If we could spend some time on that. So yes, Kel with that. Oh, 15. Uh, Kel, Cynthia, you see something's going on. Kel, you see Do something bigger going on. Do I get a deception against this? Oh, yeah, you get a I got a 20. I, I rolled a 21 in height. Because okay. this she would be trying to hide. Deception. Not that she's Go good at it. But you never know. You never, never know. Kumo, if you would nope. like to roll a deception or anything, you can as well. I think Kumo would lie. True. Good point. Oh, you picked boy. the worst one, Manuka. Okay, y'all three. <laughs> See through this. See something. As happening. long as you don't ask, like if you don't ask Kumo about it, Kumo won't say anything. But otherwise, yeah. So I clearly fluster talking about. Uh, just she'll she'll teach you potions. It's not a big deal. But uh, I, but but either way, that's that's a, the whole class thing. I still think we see, should focus on the actual swamp part. There's a swamp, right? And Kel, you know the swamps. Is that is, is, Kel, is that a, is that a rude Kel stereotype I'm thinking Manuka. of you? Or someone said no, something he, about swamps he, before? He, their house. Okay, is in the yeah. Swamp. So maybe you take right. Is you live in a take the lead on this and let's figure looking out get to the bottom Kubo, of what's going on here. Looking at Manuka, looking at Kumo. Are you fucking listening to me? We got an emergency situation, and I feel like you're giving me that fucking look that makes me want to fucking take a trident, put up your nose, and spin it around. Is that what happened inside there? The fuck are you talking about? Inside where? Kumo would not let Manuka Honey put a trident up his nose. Though the Kumo did get flipped upside down by Manuka Honey. And yeah, and that's just a portion of the fucking power i have that i would unleash on everyone here if you don't get out of my fucking way even though we're going to the same spot are you gonna lead the way kel you're gonna take your little vest tighten it up and take us to the swamp are you okay manuka you seem a little oh, i seem it. literally exactly like how i always am which yes it is different than how a lot of people present themselves especially this uh school. kel's but just gonna just kel's just gonna off. grab a cigar just put it in their fucking, just put it in their fucking mouth and light it and go, yeah, I'll lead the way. Don't worry. I'm going to smack that fucking cigar out of his mouth one of these days. It looks like a fucking, all right. Oh, Balam, the Kumo wants to know if you have another cigar. 
for you? Please. Is it okay if any of your followers saw you smoking? Would they feel all kinds of betrayal because their glorious leader was doing something so unhealthy? My followers. The Kumo has a community, not followers. Pardon me, community. Slip of the tongue. Of course. And I'm going to go ahead and like to like to like everybody else, like normal size Kel, it looks like a fucking Cohiba, like a stogie. But to everybody else, it's like a fucking little tiny like backwoods cigar, like a cigarello. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, yeah, there you go. Kumo's sure. Like... <laughs> Is everyone go. else like good? A, we didn't really like actually a, check in on each other Jane after Kumo. this. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. good. No one got hurt. Every, you, no. you guys just argued with the, the Seder person, which, Kel, I was actually on your side. Everyone else was saying you were too harsh on it. I think uh, escalating a situation is typically a good idea, especially if no one's cooperating. So I am actually on your side with that, but I'm not on your side with how you've behaved towards me since then. But now we're on the same page and everyone's good. Kumo walks over to Cynthia and is like, this is going to be the best class ever. I, 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 I bet. I wanted to apologize about that while we're walking as well, Manuka, uh, for speaking out of turn towards you. I realized that this entire time that our group that we've been together, it's been a lot of jabs and snipes and I haven't truly been getting to know you. And I'd like to apologize for that. You want to get to know me better? Is that what I'm hearing? I think as two of the most capable but shortest members of the group. I think it's important for us to get to know each other very well. I don't know why I brought size into this, but... Uh, well, you know, we're able to get into places that others can't. Yeah, very no idea. No, I do not. Wait, so, wait, what do you, you propose an alliance here? Less of an alliance and more of a friendship. Tentative, acquaintanceship into a friendship. And if something more like an alliance blooms from then, then, you know, we can talk about it at a later time. I mean, alliance comes before friendship. You don't need to be friends to be in alliance with someone. I happen, and if you, yeah, I, where, where, where's this word alliance even coming from? Have you heard that around? Are other people in an alliance that I should know about? I'm not, I'm just friends with my group. Let's Who's been talking say... about an alliance? Was it Kumo? A gentleman never reveals their secrets. So you and Kumo have an alliance. All right. <laughs> are you are you with the rest of the group during this conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just Stop actively talking. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just, just actively sure. talking. Just, just checking. Yeah. So every yeah, Manuka's here... whisper yelling. Everyone can still hear her, but she thinks she's slightly quieter than she usually is. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Manuka. I think uh, Kumo looks over at Safka and Cynthia and like, she does know that we can hear her. It's it's fine. It's she. It's fine. It's fine, Manuka. It's fine. I apologize for trying to get to know you. I just want to know maybe why you were here or where you came from or. No, I mean, I'm I'm fine with all that. If you actually knew my story, I think maybe you'd treat me a little better and you'd realize I'm probably not what you assumed I was. A lot of people make uh, assumptions, we'll say, about people like me, and uh, most of them will be quite wrong. I completely agree. I just got to know Safka and Cynthia a little bit more as well, and I feel that our bonds as friends have strengthened. When? Earlier, while we were talking, while you, you and Kuma were speaking with the professor. Okay. What did they say? I mean, they gave very personal answers that related to the reasons why they're here and what they're hoping to gain out of their time here at Strixhaven and what they're looking for and friendships, you know, things of that nature. And what did you chat. share in return? Well, nobody asked me anything. I'm more well, than I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. What, what, what are you up to, Kel? What, what do you mean, what am I up to? I mean, what's your story? What's your deal? I would say... What the hell's wrong with you? I mean, I wouldn't say anything's wrong with me. 
I'm just a halfling that's here to learn magic. I came from a small village and had some unfortunate times. And then a benefactor took me in as their ward and decided that due to my talents, it was best to send me here so I could hone those and learn as much as I can so that I might be better serve them in the future. A godparent, so to speak. A godfather. All right. I understand that. Godmother. I understand that too. Okay, so you got a rich godmother who decided to send you off to a fancy school. I wouldn't say wealthy, but rich in connections. Oh, the connected. All right, I got some cousins like that. I understand. Omerta, right? I won't say nothing. You get it right, the nail right on the head. Of I course, just assumed you hear. came from money with your, your little duds. Oh, no, this is just a look around everybody. I, I never came from much at all. So when I had the opportunity to, I uh, decided, why not treat myself? Call a bit of an upgrade. Does it make you does it make you feel good? Decidedly so. There you go. Perfect. Would anyone else like to add anything on the walk? Uh Sapka just gets really sad when Kel talks about uh buying nice things. Just kind of quietly to herself. Oh. Um not necessarily with like communicating with the group, but finally responding to that voice from earlier, uh, assuming it's telepathic. I I guess I would like some help. Very strained. She's like focused on the walk, but that is being said in the noodle. Then help you shall have, my child. Welcome to the family. And uh, then I would like you to level yeah. up. <gasps> oh, sh oh shit! Okay. <laughs> uh, I know this is a little bit of a game, and we're about to do some stuff, but whatever you could get done between now and uh, we start doing things, you are allowed to level up to uh, level five, I think, right? Wild, yeah, level five. Yes. Wild. Vin, you are now level five. <laughs> Whoa. Cool. That's not scary or alarming. Oh, and uh, Manuka, I forgot to tell you. The leftover pieces of device that you have, you could add Clockwork Amulet to your inventory. Mm. It is what is left over from the magical device. I forgot to tell you that. And as you're walking, Kel, after this discussion, you have a few more steps and you're almost at the bog, but you feel a cold chill start at the base of your spine and work all the way down as it feels like spiders are running out of your brain and out of your body. Something's off. And about this point is when you make it to the edge of the Sledgemore. If you would check the Discord, I put maps in for the Sledgemore and the Detention Bog. So we can uh, reference and talk to each other a little bit easier. And it does have, like, markers and stuff on it. And Kumo, you pull out your list and you see the items that you need. And you can tell the group again that had poison from the nest, a nest of snakes, water from the magical spring, and materials that were found in a the detention bog, from crates in the detention bog. Which you could, thinking back about looking at her detect thoughts, probably would be the crates where she found the journal as well. Start in the detention bog then? The last place she saw the book? 
Maybe. Umo thinks that may be the best place to start. Yes, let's start there. Okay. And then maybe once we take care of that and see if it's not too hectic, we can split up and some might some of us take care of the spring and some of us take care of the snakes. So located on the outskirts of the Sledgemoor on Winterfield campus, the, the tension bog reeks of mud and heated water. Students here perform tasks for punishment, as well as collecting specimens of rare flora and fauna for spells and potions. It's not a very pleasant place. You would know, Cal especially, that there are rumors of the detention bog. Rumors of hidden things that Mergaxor left there. Plans, meeting places, magic that has not been seen on campus before. It is a place of both terror and excitement. And you work your way in. So you'll come in around the top. See that lit line of trees at the top? That's where you enter. And you're about at that bridge on the top, top right. And you reach the bog. Does any of this look familiar, Kubo? Uh, roll me a perception check. Do I get advantage because yes, I picked this out of did. someone's you mind? You did pick this out of someone's <laughs> mind. Please, please give me a good perception check. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Oh, that's a 12. It's very hard to see. Because, coincidentally, as soon as you start making your way through the bog, fog starts rolling in, and a light drizzle of rain starts to appear, which is limiting your view now to about 30 feet. And as best as you can tell, just start heading south, and you're going to, you'll, you'll reach it eventually. I'd like to cast Detect Magic. Are you going to cast a ritual? No, I'll do the regular. Just drop the goggles, switch them to magic mode, and just sort of be scanning as we walk. Uh, initially, you are hit with so much light and color. It's like being in a dark room and someone flipping on the lights really fast. Everything is magic here. You see outlines from a crate in the water to your left that has some magical glow. The bridge has a magical glow. The trees, the water, the ground. Everything seems to be radiating some kind of magic. The, even the rain and the fog seems to have an elemental magic that was brought in. Maybe to keep this at this kind of temperature and style. But it's very hard to see. It does last 10 minutes, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, so from the crate, there's a crate to your right. If you're standing on the bridge facing south, uh, that crate you'll see also has magic and it is giving you up. Um, uh, let's find out some magic. Evocation. All right. Uh, we got a crate over to the right. That could be dangerous and evocate. That's not the kind of magic we were dealing with, right? We're looking for like that time signature stuff. Chronomancy. Uh, can anyone re could see it reach it? Am I, little, I might be able to see it through this fog. Uh, how far away is it? It's about 20 feet. Uh, I'm going to shoot it with my trident hand. Awesome. I roll a hit. Roll a hit. Let's see if you can hit it. 17. Yep. Trident goes out. Like sticks in the side of the crate. 
Uh, yeah, and I'm going to do that from a little bit of a range. Just, it just sticks in, nothing happens. Yeah. Hmm. All right. I might be safe. And I'll sort of click the thing because it's a returning weapon. So if you just have it, have it, come back at it and catch it. And the crate is yours. As you pull, uh, sorry, yeah. I should probably tell you what you see. As you pull it in, the uh, steel crate, it's glowing a little bit of red. And it's kind of got bubbles and hissing a little bit of water. Kind of steam. We need stuff uh, from the crates for the other part of things, right? Not the investigation part, but like the assignment part. You're, you're kind of looking at the crate. I, I don't know why I'm, I'm being out of character. I'm not a character. Um... The one of these crates ma might have the journal. So you're looking yes, for any hints of the but journal. Yeah. Also, we needed material from the crates if we wanted to try to recreate this thing, which it seems like we did for class. So I'll get some of that somehow. Well, do you open the crate? Uh, do I recognize this thing? It's a crate. It's a crate. No one else opens it. Kumo magic. will absolutely open it. Um, yeah, I mean, if it, yeah, if it seems not obviously dangerous, I'll pop it open. Roll me a dexterity check. I'm gonna cast Mage Armor on myself using my future. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my Eldritch Adept feet. Yeah, that little uh, web 14. armor comes over there. Fourteen. Let me see how this works real quick. Sorry, I have to find a high level wizard. Uh, you actually die. You don't die, but you do take half damage. And... Kumbo's glad he did not open the crate first. How much damage does this cause? 15 foot cone. I should like the idea of like Kumo steps up to it. And she's like, no, fuck you, opens it and hurts yourself. Yes. Uh, as you take oh shit 12 points of fire damage as you find a and look in the crate and there is a second level burning hand spell scroll inside so you feel like you just got hit with a second level burning hands Take that in your spell book and stuff it. Yeah, so they get blasted by fire. Just fucking hell, okay. Hey, maybe we don't open the crates. Maybe we just collect them. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Yeah, we should uh, be careful with the crates moving forward. Did you have to... Was there a check to open the crate? I just opened okay, it. Okay, good. Then uh, I'll have my Unseen Servant do it. I'll just I was going to say, I was going to summon that earlier. <laughs> you can also check for traps. Yeah, yeah, no, that sounds like too much work. And I was literally getting ready when he's like, Kumo, open it. Yeah, Manuka would be like, no. <laughs> Which... I like how Manuka was like, I'm going to check for traps. And he was like, nope, no one else is going to get in on this shit. Fuck off. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And... That's why being careful at first, like the range thing, pulling it in. But yeah, she's gonna act like she's fine, even though clearly that was a pretty bad burn. And uh, what do you all like to do next? Let's keep making our way through the through the bog. Uh, yep. Let's keep an eye out. Yes. See, for, check for traps. Check for anything that might be lurking in here. It's a detention bog, so I assume they might have put some. And gonna well, look t look towards the swamp and be like, reptilian friends. Kelly, you know that the detention bog and the sledge mar are full of creatures that can kill you. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. You know what? Even better. You know what we're going to do? We're going to be stealthy during this. Are you going to be stealthy? No, I'm not, I'm not going to use invisibility, but I'm going to move with stealth. Yeah. Anyone else being stealthy? Uh, this is not my territory, mm -hmm. so Kumo actually will heed advice of someone whose this is. And mm -hmm. we'll try to move stealthily. Everyone roll me a stealth check, please. Uh, what was the scroll I guy says burning hands? Yes, a second level burning hands. The 15. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, 
can I also do a survival check to see if I can find like the past path of least resistance vis-a-vis -vis things killing us? Uh, yes. Give me your stealth check first. I already did. That's that was a twelve cold. and then okay. a sixteen. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Or the 24. So um, one of us is stealthy and the rest of us are not. And you're at Sopka, your survival one more time, sorry. A 16 on the survival. 16. Uh, Kel is going to like get kind of like low to the ground and gonna look at him and go, most of the things here are gonna try to kill you. If you do see a zombie crocodile that looks like a Lyle, then just give him some jerky, he's fine. And Sokka, you're able to look at the ground and see kind of a, a, a nice trail, a nice path that's been carved out. And you don't see very many, like, animal footprints. And you can kind of start guiding people through. And you do the actually, with that role, for dates. Uh, around, as you re 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 down uh, around that D5, you do see bubbles coming out of the top of the water. And know to avoid that because that could be something. Just keep making our way. Okay. Which way are we going? Maybe. Should, do y'all think that we should like check these other crates at D four or D five, or do you think that we should go to like D three? Kind of do work left to right and work our way back around. Uh. I'm with the left to right yeah. sort of thing. Okay. Yeah, hug hug kind of like the left shore almost, the left mm -hmm. path towards D3 and then work our way down the bridges and around if we have. Okay. Okay. Agreed. So you're working towards D3? Yeah. We'll let you hold that stealth roll. You make it to D3 with no problem. To that bri to, to the to this broken side bridge. of the broken bridge with no problem. And Got see it. nothing that would causes you to be worried and across the bridge at the far end of the broken bridge is a mound of earth barely large enough for one person to stand on and a dental embedded a dented metal crate is partially embedded in the mound okay there's another crate do we know if this is ours There's crates. The Kumo assume they belong to the school or to the swamp. Good assumption to have. So, Manuka. Yo. You just, we just lost your audio, Kumo. Oh, do you want to open another crate, Manuka? You got something to say? I asked the question. Can you hear me? Can y'all not hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. No, I can hear you. I'm saying I don't like your tone. The pointed way you said, do I want to open the crate? Like you didn't just see what happened. Yeah. No, Kumo, you're... I thought you might have learned a lesson. And maybe given how you disarmed the magical time trap, the Kumo is assuming you may be able to disarm other traps. I could. And that wasn't a lesson to learn. What you witnessed was me saving your ass from getting your pretty little head set on fire. Because I saw you reaching for it with your giant, strong hands. And I knew I had to act immediately or else you'd get hurt. But yeah, I could disarm the next one if that's what you'd like. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Manuka, how heated are you getting? Is your voice raising? Uh, it's always raising. Kel, roll me a stealth check again. Oh, no. Sorry, this is the slowest uh, dice in the world. DM, can I do a thing? What are you trying to do? Uh, can asshole... Uh, smell anything that is off kilter around here. Have yeah, asshole roll me a perception check. Okay. Thirteen DM. 
Cool, 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 cool. Uh, perception. Seven plus three. For whatever reason, won't let me roll it off this page. Okay. So let's see. It gets advantage on these, so I'm rolling two of these. So that would be a 19. Nice. Yeah, 19. As Kumo, you and Manuka are fighting on the end of this bridge, looking over the water. Uh, Kel, Sapka, Cynthia, you're probably not exactly on the bridge, but standing on the shore next to it, looking at them. Asshole starts... As... The three of you, not on the bridge, at the same time, see, because of the cats purring, something in the water snaking through and wraps around the island of D3 and kind of makes its sway underneath the bridge below you. I am going to grab Manuka from behind, and I'm going to put a hand over her mouth, and I'm going to whisper immediately. I'm going to say, if you do not shut the fuck up right now, we are all dead. Manuka, what would you like to do? I'm gonna yeah. bite his hand. <laughs> I can. Can you roll an attack, please? Yes, I can. Uh, yeah, no, uh, this is not good. I'm gonna cast a mage armor. Start. Good idea. 17? Just, just hits. I have a 16 AC. Uh, go ahead and roll me an unarmed attack. This the uh whatever the uh the damage would be. Uh so damage is your strength mod. Um yeah. which mine's a negative one. So it doesn't hurt, which I wasn't really intending to hurt anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's literally it's my damage for unarmed strike is zero damage, but uh we'll go ahead and make that one damage because you did attack. Okay. okay. We're not gonna make a zero damage attack, and it's because it's annoying. Uh, and Kel, Manuka takes a chunk out of your hand, like not out of your hand, but you get bit real good. But she is being quiet, so she's listening. Yeah. But she's biting him for putting his hand over her mouth. But she's doing so is the fact that she didn't immediately go into a tirade at him shows that she's with the messaging. other hand over over her shoulder. I'm gonna point to where there's bubbling underneath the bridge. Uh -huh. And I'm going to move, remove my hand, and yep. immediately just, yep. I would fucking try you right up the fucking nose. Damn it. I'll just see Kumo doing basically the Macarena, touching <laughs> his armor. Uh, and it's just like Kumo's abs. And then you I... see a shimmery purplish armor. Did start you to say the words Kumo. Kumo's abs? Did you name yes. Mage Armor Kumo's abs? That's, so you cause yeah, it takes a, a piece of leather. And okay. it takes a somatic, uh, okay. and it takes vocal, and so he says, "Kumo's okay. abs." And then this is where we attack Kumo right? to go. <laughs> this, this is where we oh, reveal that we're that. actually plot twist. We're all yeah, Kumo's assassins. Yeah. So you are all standing there. You see bubbling in the water as something is swimming underneath the surface. As all hush. Katamini stops chirping. I wish that happened in real life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's the real magic here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this the crate or do we go to a next one? Manuka, detect magic's 10 minutes, correct? Yes. Let's see how long, how many minutes it's been since you cast. That was a d20. That's not a d10. been nine minutes you have oh one God. minute left from this crate 
You see abjuration magic. Hang on, we got something else. Uh, is it coming from a crate, or is it just... It's coming from the crate. Something in there is giving off uh, abjuration magic. Uh, Shields. This one's a different Barriers. type. Yes, barrier shields. Yeah, hopefully it won't backfire as much, but you never know. Uh, could do the same thing, shoot the trident to pull it in. Uh, to to kind of help with that. Mm-hmm. How are you helping? Um, uh, can I utilize uh, Mage Hand to kind of make a distraction past the island from where that's happening? Um, like rustle, like grab a branch and throw it into the water, like to breach the surface of the water. You can, yes. Okay. What direction, north or south of the crate, or west? Ooh, we're going, we're going north. Okay. Manuka, roll to attack the box. Uh, and before, just in case I do my attack, I'm gonna hit myself with the cure wounds. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, for six. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, twenty-five on my attack. Oh, you hit it dead on. Uh, same thing. Do it. The lever pulls back magically, brings in our crate. Question for you: Is there mm -hmm. a weight limit to this? Um, I mean, it's I up to you. I, I, okay. It doesn't really work that way, technically. It's just like a returning weapon, so I don't know how you wanna. Because I let it move crates before, it'll move this crate, no problem. Uh, Kel, make me a deception check, please. Oh. Or a performance. We're going deception. Sasuka, Cynthia, what are you two doing? I think being stealthy and then maybe also doing the survival thing of trying to figure out what's in the water Roll me without getting too close to the water at all. Survival check. I got a slutty 20 on mine. Okay. We got 15. 15? Cool, cool, cool. cool. And I, I did a nature check. Nature? Cool. Cynthia. I am just going to steal from Rachel and do a survival check. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, a 19. 19. Awesome. Nice. Let me, let me do three more dice real quick. I forgot about something. You know. <laughs> fail, fail, pass, pass, pass. Cool. Manuka. You hit the box, and you start dragging it like you did the other one. Super excited. Kumo, you're keeping the cat quiet. You're shimmering. You're beautiful. Your abs are great. Safka, near where Kel's branch is hitting, you start to make out the shape of a head about to breach the water. Cynthia. The moment the box splashes into the water, because there is no bridge and there's no nothing supporting the weight of the box, another head starts to breach the water. As three heads then three more heads then convene onto the branch that Kel is shaking in the water, and then two of the others come up and look at your group. Actually, look at Manuka. As you then see, the five heads of a hydra pop out of the water. And, uh, I think this would be a good time to roll for initiative. What about you? Yeah, sounds like uh, a good no, I think we should get four rounds, no initiative. <laughs> then... That's <laughs> fair. Hooray! Ho! Right, hey. 19. Uh, I'm at a 23. 9. 10. Seven. Let's go. Wild. Who knows about that action, boss? I'm about to spray some Skittles at this Hydra and make it taste the rainbow. I think I know what that <clears throat> Okay, Kumo, what was your initiative? 23. 23. 
Kel, your initiative. Ten. Safka. Nine. Cynthia. Seven. Manuka? Nineteen. Okay, you make a deduction. Kumo, you are first up initiative. You see five heads breach the water. Uh, three of them are distracted by Kel's uh, branch in the water. Branch, yeah. What would you like to do? Uh, okay, so bonus action, bite sing. Nice. Uh, yeah, so Kumo brings out the long sword. It's like, asshole, over here. The Kumo has work to do. And he's like, hey, baby, hey, baby, hey. Girl say, girl say, uh, and the sword starts to glow. And uh, how far away is this thing from me? Can I get it into it with 30 feet? Yes, there is a head within 30 feet of you. Oh, yeah. Then the Kumo is going all in on this action. Uh, and let's see. Sweet. Okay, so I can, y'all, 40 feet. Oh, I can do now. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so, let's take a swing. Sorry, one second. Take your time. Dun, dun. There we go. Does a 10 hit? No, it does not. Ouch. Uh, wonderful. Uh, then I don't think I can do much else. That is the Kumo's turn. Okay. After Kumo gets his blade ready, you see him make a swing Manuka. What are you doing? Or actually, um, you also still have the, the box in the end of your trident. You do have enough. You can, as a free action, pull it the rest of the way to you. Sure, we'll we'll pull it in. I'm not gonna open it or mess with it right now, unless someone else wants to. They're free to. Um, so we're being attacked. Uh, Manuka's got a tank, so uh, not even uh, we'll get the trident almost there, but not fully. Um, and instead, she's gonna position herself like as front and center to this thing or the heads as possible she wants to make herself the easiest target with her movement um grabbing onto bezel bub and getting in whatever however movement it takes to do that i don't know how far away we are from it yeah, but you have enough. yeah essentially be in its face uh and then with the sort of open part there's a a, a little hose attachment she's going to plug in and try to spray this thing down with Tasha's Caustic Brew, which is a deck save on their part. Uh, okay, where is my Hydra? Dexterity. That's a three. That will fail. It's going to take four damage. And at the start of each of its turns, unless it uses its action to scrape off this Caustic Brew, it's going to take damage every turn. Okay. Uh, make sure we remember that. And then bonus action? Um, oh, yeah, my guy can hit it. Shit, I gotta pull that up. Uh, all right. Nope, not one. Oh, wait, that's damage. Okay, never mind using my spell tag. Sorry, I forget how to play an artificer every... It's single... totally fine. Eleven. Eleven. Eleven what? To hit? To hit. That does not hit. All right. Uh, the robot swings and misses. Robot That's swings it for me. and misses. Kel, you see all this going down. 
What are you doing? As a free action, you can drop the mage hand, and I will not count that against you. Yeah, I'm dropping the mage hand. Uh, how far away is that D4 crate from us? Uh, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, about 50 to 60 feet. Okay. Sick. Would you allow me to cast a bonus action spell as an action? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I can't cast two spells. Okay, never mind. Uh, hmm. What I'm going to do is uh, untouched head. Okay, what's that do? Uh, I, well, I'm, uh, a head that hasn't been hit yet. Okay. Uh, you're going to see Kel uh, look at that crate that's far off and then look at one of those other heads uh, and is going to, from like the, the, the symbol around their neck, kind of pull and then you see a bunch of webs get pulled from like like almost attached to their fingers and they're going to start weaving something uh and then you're going to see almost make them make a a a, a baseball and i'm going to cast hex on one of those nice. untouched heads um perfect uh do anything for that uh no that, that just automatically happens it is uh just hexed. to get yeah, so uh, a curse is on that creature. So I do 1d6 necrotic damage to the target whenever I hit it with an attack. Also, I choose one ability when you cast a spell. That target has disadvantage on ability checks made with the chosen ability. Okay. Uh, and that is going to be strength checks. Awesome. Smart. Uh, and I am then going to utilize my action to uh, cast Eldritch Blast at that, that head. Do it. That is a 21 to hit. 21 hits. Mm -hmm. That is seven uh, force damage. And then six necrotic damage. So 13 all told. And six necrotic damage. Okay, nice. Anything else? Uh, I am going to start move making my way closer to that other crate. Okay. Sapka, you are next. We'll move it. Um, I'm just gonna say, we saw you coming, it was sloppy, and, uh, cast Vicious Mockery. Do it. What do I gotta do? They ro do, uh, Wisdom Save. Wisdom Save. If the DC is 14. I rolled a 12, and I have plus zero. Great. So that's gonna be, well, one psychic damage. Okay. Um. But it's also going to have disadvantage on the attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn. All attack rolls yeah. or just one attack roll? The next attack roll. So whether it's opportunity attack okay. or on its turn. Uh -huh. Cool, cool, cool. Any bonus actions? Um, or movement? No, I, no, I think I'm just going to hang out. Okay. Up next, we have Cynthia. Uh, I'm gonna ask for a con save, pretty pretty please. Oh, um, a con save! A con I save for the Constitution. I have such a Constitution. I I put cocked. That's an eighteen plus five. Never mind. That's a twenty-three. <laughs> Never mind. That's I was fine. gonna try blindness, deafness, and that does. Uh, I think that does beat my thirteen Constitution. <laughs> Oh, I also get advantage against those. Okay. Nope. We live and we learn. It was but two that time, so it, if it was disadvantage, you could have won. Any bonus actions? Nah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Up next, after all that, is the Hydra. Fun fact. A Hydra can make as many attacks as it has heads. Yup. Yep. Yay! So, Kumo, Manuka, you two are on the bridge. It's going to come to... If it moves close to you two, it actually can make a, an attack on four of you. Kelly, you're the only one it cannot make an attack on, so... Damn right. The defender's there as well if it wants to attack. Yes, the defender. So, first, Kumo. It's at disadvantage, you said? 
First attack. Yep. Okay, yeah. so the first attack is it's just a straight roll. Sixteen. Uh, that will hit. However, I'm going to use a reaction Go for and it. blow a spell, and I'm going to use silvery barbs. What's that do? I magically distract the creature and turn its momentary uncertainty into encouragement for another creature. This must roll a d20 and use the lower roll. And someone else I see in range, I can give advantage on their next roll. My lower roll was a three. Well, then it doesn't hit me. And I am going to look over at Manuka. And it's like, Manuka, honey. Punch the shit out of this thing. As Kumo says that, it <clears throat> turns and makes another attack at Kumo. 23 to hit. That will hit. And... It does. I need a dice ready. Six points of piercing damage. Manuka, you turn just in time to see Kumo encourage you and take get a bite ripped out of Kumo's shoulder as the next head comes at you. The Kumo is fine. The Kumo is okay. Oh, wait. I get advantage. Eleven. No. Sokka. The next one comes at you. All This is all happening at the same time. 26 to hit. Yeah, that'll do it. You take... 9 points of damage. And Cynthia, the last head comes at you. I got the natural 20! Oof. Oh. Hey. Hey. Um, so, how we've been doing damage is you get full damage plus a dice. So that's... Twenty-two points of damage. Hey, hey, April. You want to know how much I'm okay. coming here for? So, Safka says. That's a crate's worth. You're getting ahead of yourself, and I'm going to use cutting words to knock a D6 off that damage. Ooh. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very good. And Great I bard. A six. Great bard. Okay. Fantastic so bard. So twenty-two minus six, which is math. <laughs> 16. Yeah. It's 16. Yes, yeah. you get 16. I got six points. I got six points left. I had exactly 22 hit points. Wow. Uh, wow. And that is the end of the Hydra's turn. It comes back to the top of the round, Kumo. But so on its turn, oh, yeah, it it's going to take six damage awesome. from the acid burning on it. And uh, I want to check something real quick. Now there's fighting going on. That's a five. They don't notice yet. Uh, we're back at the, the top dragon. of the round. Kumo. Yeah. We need to get the fuck out of here. Hmm. Stab. Kumo does not run. Uh, I hate that I was just about to say the same thing. I see them <laughs> saying that both at the same time. <laughs> you just <both>. look. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I can cast a cantrip and a spell at the same at the same time. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to use a spell. Blow a second level spell slot and cast Shadow Blade. Ooh, with what's bonus that action. Uh, so basically, the way I'm going to flavor it, uh, but it says, you weave together threads of shadow to create a sword of solidified gloom in your hand. This magic sword lasts until the spell ends. It counts as a simple melee weapon for which you are proficient. It deals 2d8 psychic damage on a hit and has finesse, light, and throne properties. Uh, in addition, when you use the sword to attack a target that is in dim light or darkness, you make the roll with advantage. And I was just about to ask the uh, DM about yep, the, the you lighting would get situation the advantage here. Because I said that the fog was rolling in. So it was That's what I see. thought. So, Which is also uh, saving you from other things seeing you right now. Okay, well, 
Let's see. So that would be, uh, okay, yeah, it'd be plus five. So, will a 23 hit it? Oh, yeah. Plus, I'm using green flame blade. Yes, it would, it hits. Excellent. Uh, bum, 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 bum. So the 2d8 or nine uh, psychic damage. Damage. Cause green fire to leap from the target to a different creature of your choice within five feet of it. Do each of these heads count as a different creature? Sure. Oh wait, are you doing fire damage? Yeah, I'm using green flame blade. I, I need to I, I need to check one thing real quick because I forgot to keep track of this one thing. Okay, uh, Kumo, with that hit, you actually chop off the head closest to you. And Sweet. because you're using fire magic, realize that the wound carterized. Uh, excellent. So well, Four heads now. That was one damage with green flame light. And okay. another, uh, it's going to bounce to another creature, and, or another head, yep. for two Fire damage. Nice. Huzzah. Oh, wait, okay. plus my spell mod. Uh, my spell modifier is... What is my spell mod? <laughs> Oh, so that's going to be another so six damage. Six damage to whatever the other head is. Okay, yeah. So you still did over twenty five damage in one turn. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Any bonus actions or anything else? No, I use a bonus action to do the shadow blade. So okay. basically, that shadow blade just consumed my other glowy blade, uh, and yeah. Nice. Also, I didn't roll that with advantage. You want to so see if you get a nat 20? Fishing. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. But. I mean, I would have given it to you if you had a nat 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manuka, you're next. You have a box in front of you that's glowing abjuration magic. You have a giant creature in front of you. Uh, Can anyone help Cynthia out? You have a yeah. dying Cynthia. You just see Kumo fighting a fucking Hydra going, The Kumo says bring it! Anything happens to Cynthia, I will destroy the school and everyone in it. Uh, Safka, help her. I'm gonna. This will be a little out of order. Uh, actually, I'll start with uh, an attack. I also, seeing how effective Green Flame Blade was, will use that on my Trident. Oh, yeah. um, and do I have. Wait, what did your silver thread thing that gave me something? Uh, gives you advantage. Advantage is sweet. Attack. Let's attack with advantage. Uh, 24 was a higher. 24 hits. Um, so that's we'll do uh, 10 damage. And then for letting green flame bird work on it, let's do that too. I saw a 13 damage pop up. Uh, that was for if I did it with two-handed. I used my oh, trident yeah. one-handed. Okay. Yeah. I got a shield in the other. Ah. Uh, that's what, D8? And then one fire damage. So, how much damage total? 11? 11. Okay. 11 damage total. Any bonus actions, or was the green flame blade your bonus? Yeah. No, that's the cantrip. I mean, that's part of my the, the, my the attack. bouncy damage, right? Uh, it only does bouncy damage. It doesn't do regular damage until you're level 5. So I might have did a little extra damage to it, but it's fine. I did dead enough in the first. I'll allow it. it. <laughs> and then she's going to. Mm -hmm. It's her bonus action to um, pull out a little device from her jacket and just launch it at Safka. 
and it's this it like flutters and just lands like a little bug looking thing just lands on her chest and sticks there and just emits this like really soft calming golden light i'm using my bonus action to cast sanctuary on savka oh, so see. it will need to make a wisdom save if it even wants to attack her if it fails it can't attack her but savka if you do anything offensive to it it breaks it but essentially protects you if you want to do something to help someone else Okay, I love it. So that's your action bonus action. That's everything. Yeah. Kel, you are about 15 feet away from the, cr the crate of D4. What would you like to do? And is... Cynthia isn't completely down, right? Not yet. Not yet? <laughs> uh, how far away am I from Cynthia? Uh, you are your full movement from Cynthia. God damn it. Because okay, you took mind. full movement right. to go towards the crate. Okay, I'll deal with that So later. actually, you're like 10 feet from the crate. I got Cynthia. Don't worry. You got it? Okay. Uh, I'm going to make my way to the crate. Okay, you are at the uh, crate. Uh, and I am going to try to check for traps and open it. Uh, do me a stealth, sleight of hand. That's traps. Yeah. There we go, sleight of hand. That one. Do that one. Perfect. Eighteen. You do realize that if you open this box straight up towards you, it will probably have something bad happen. So you should probably, like, be around the corner and open it. Yeah, I'm going to angle myself around it and then use my mage hand to open it up. As you open it, there is a flash of light uh, mm -hmm. of some sort of magic trigger that goes off. And you open it and you pull out a fourth level banishment spell scroll. Perfect. Cool. And is that the end of your turn? Oh, no, you said bonus action. I can't read a scroll nope, yet. It's an so. action. Perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. That's okay. my turn. That is your uh, turn. Yeah, that's my turn. Because all the stuff I can do with my bonus action, I have to touch some people. So that's you fine. still have about t 10 feet of movement if you want to head back. If you want to start making your way back to the everyone, or you can, it's up to you. I want to make my way the long way back to everybody. I'm not trying to get near those Hydra heads. Okay. I'm not trying to stir anything. Okay. Then that is the end of your turn. We'll go to Safka. It is your turn. Okay. I'm going to look at the thing that just landed on me and say, this is really well constructed. Give bonus action, Bardic Inspiration, and Manuka. Then I'm going to move closer to... Cynthia, and I'm going to do second level Cure Wounds. Do you want me to roll? Or Vin, do you want to roll? I trust you to roll it. You Great. moved, didn't you, Cynthia? Or uh, Safka? 13. Hell yeah. Thank Safka, you. did you move? Uh, yeah, but I think it's got disadvantage to, to do anything. It does. But uh, it does or make a, a it has to make a wis wisdom. Oh, it has to make a wisdom save strength, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, wisdom save if it even wants to attempt to attack. It's going to try to, to make an opportunity attack at you. Mm -hmm. Could you walk out it of it? It can thing? deal with each one of its heads. Oh shit! Thank you, Prince. Do they all get a reaction? <laughs> they all get a reaction. Yes. Um, yes, I'm only do. actually going to do two of the heads because one head it's is one at Sanko, one head is at Cynthia. The other two are on you. Yeah. That's a natural one. That is a 12. Uh, no, that fails. Yep. So both of them failed the wisdom saves. And they both wasted their reaction. And Safka, you were able to do this no problem. Cool. So they can... Well, uh, I don't know if they can that. So they can choose a new target or they lose the attacker spell. I'm just since it was an opportunity it, attack. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sweet. If it was an actual attack, maybe I would have switched it. So yeah, something about just this weird, comforting golden light just makes it like really difficult to actually want to attack you. And uh, Safka, any bonus action or anything? I already did. I gave my uh, I gave a bardic okay, to, yes, to yes, Manuka in in gratitude for the sanctuary. Uh, then next up, Cynthia. What are we doing? Oh. What are you doing? Um, uh, I am going to try a ye old firebolt. Firebolt that bitch. 
Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Oh, 22. 22 hits. Oh, heck yeah. All right. Isn't that multiple bolts? Firebolt's multiple? I don't remember. Uh, no. No, just one. Scorching, scorching rays, though. Scorching, scorching rays, and the multi. Yeah, yeah the three. Yeah. Um, and then it's 13 missile. points, though. 13 I, points of damage. That's fine for a cantrip, yeah. That's good for a cantrip. That's real uh, good. And any bonus actions or anything? No. Okay. That's it for me. I know I, I, I kind of made you level up real quick, so I, just, I didn't want to rush you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, next up is the Hydra. It is upset. It's going to make attacks again at Kumo. It's going to make one attack at you. That's a three, and that's a five. That's a ten. No, that's a... Thirteen. Kumo is very difficult to hit while blade singing. Cool. None cool. of these hit the Kumo. Manuka, you're next. Hi, Bully. How I told you you're very pretty in this outfit. Cause that Crit was on me. 20. I could take it. That was a natural 20. So that's 15 plus another 10. 25, 25 damage. Damage. What would fell most of these fucking wizards? I'm not like other wizards. I don't go down from 25 damage. So you don't want a cutting words on that? Uh, it'd be great because I'm still hurt from the other uh, oh, the <laughs> explosion yeah. that happened in yeah. my face too. Uh, you know what? You know uh, what I'll do? Stop. Never mind. Okay. Actually, since I have a reaction because I just thought about this, mm -hmm. I'm going to use my spell slot to blow another silvery barbs. You need to reroll that d20. Okay. Ooh. Let's see if I can get a natural, another crit on Manuka. That's a two. I can't can imagine. Uh, yeah, I, can I imagine. did not hit at all. Fantastic. Like, Fantastic. Stop. It's not happening. Focus on the Kumo. Uh, who I, is up and next? to add this, it's almost as if time rewound a little bit when Kumo did that. You almost feel yeah, like she, you took that hit, Manuka. Shield up, like saw this was about to be a bad one, just braced for it, and then that fucking Kumo. Uh, and then the Hydra still has two more hits, one on Safka and one on Cynthia. Uh, Cynthia, by the way, you will have advantage on oh your God. next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw that you make within the next minute. Uh, and it Safka. needs a, a wisdom save to attack Safka. Yep. Uh, it failed the wisdom save, so it's going to make both attacks at Cynthia. No. That's not what we want. 16? Ooh, let me see. Focus on the Kumo. Feels pretty Focus. feline phobic. Focus. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay. You got shield? No. <laughs> Dude, you got major? Damn. Damn. No. I leveled you Damn. up, Damn. Damn. She's our Damn. mascot. This is a cat who wants to read books. She's not interested in these spells you guys are talking about. Uh, that's 13 <laughs> points of piercing damage, please. Oh, my uh -huh. God. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just say one down, four to go, and do another, like, cutting words okay. to cut down. Go for it that uh, uh so take a add four points of health back or you still are you up cynthia yeah, you should have ran <laughs> we're trying to tank we're trying <laughs> and uh, that is the end of the hydra's turn except what the hydra's gonna do is use its movement and start crawling closer towards you it sees another person had run out the water and it wants that person too so kumo Manuka, Saka, and Cynthia all get an opportunity attack as it starts. Moving. I do not have a reaction. I use my. I just used my reaction. Manuka, I got Cynthia, one. You have Manuka, Cynthia. You, you have like a... to make an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, Manuka attack. is gonna scream at Cynthia. Says, "Get the fuck out of here." That's a free action. You can just do that. Yeah, that free action to scream. Uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. Uh... I have a dagger. Seven damage. Seven damage. Okay. Uh, oh, also. Yeah, it sounds like on... you take Warcaster there, Cynthia. <laughs> on its turn, it's gonna take six damage. Oh, I forgot. It's, it took six damage again. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And Cynthia, what was your to hit? Yeah, I rolled a seven. That doesn't hit. I'm sorry. I'm good at this. I'm so sorry. I'm trying okay. to help you here. Uh, it's all right. Finn, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I, know, I know. It's okay. And that is the end of the Hydra's turn as it starts crawling on the land. Kumo, it is back up to you. And before we move on, you're next. Go ahead. Uh, my turn? Yes. We really need to get the fuck out of here. Uh, do, 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 do. The Kumo will swing. Oh my god, the Kumo oh is god. not swinging uh, with everything the Kumo needs to. It's been swinging the wrong thing. Uh, let's see, do I have any interesting bonus actions? Nope. So I run up to it. I swing. I miss. Uh, and the Kumo is like, fight me, Hydra. Fight the Kumo. Manuka, what's your dexterity? 16. Cool, cool, cool. You're next. Uh, yeah, what he said. Uh, we might want to start filing out. I can hold this thing off, obviously. Uh, so I got sanctuary on. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna start throwing stuff at it. Swinging another twenty four. Jeez, yes, that still hits. Again, I'm. No, we're not lying because you could see it yourself. Mm -hmm. Nine dam. I, I do a green flame blade again. So nine damage plus two fire, and then um, let us bonus action to Beezlebub to take a swing at it. Okay. So I have to click this first. Uh, thirteen does not hit. I'm sorry. Not a problem. Uh, that is it for me. Okay. Up next, Kel. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Kel, before you have a chance to go, oh, the fantastic. island that the crate was on starts to move. Oh, fuck me. As plants and fungus seem to have taken on a life of its own as a brackish trudge comes lumbering out. Brackish trudge, for you don't know, is a sentient fungus and ben vegetation that thrive in the bayou wait which uh, island which island are we talking about the, the d3, one, d3 island? island and oh that's a 19 it being disturbed by the fighting the yelling and this hydra swimming around is going to bite this hydra's tail and start trying to pull it back into the water Okay, okay, okay. I rolled to see okay. who it was going to attack. Fantastic, 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 fantastic. Mushrooms are friends. Mushrooms <laughs> are friends. Mushrooms are friends. Mushrooms uh, are friends. How about friends? Wow, it does. But the enemy of my friend. enemy is. It is my friend. Mushroom. This thing does more damage to the Hydra. Friend. Huh. Form. <laughs> Manuka. 18, 18, 19, add the mushroom to the alliance. 22, 22 <laughs> what alliance? It does 28 points of damage. Oh, God. As you see, it just actually grabs a hold of one of the Hydra heads and just rips it clean off. How many heads is that? Three. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Target is a creature. It has to make a strength save, which it has disadvantage on. Yep. Did Interesting. I the wrong thing to fight my Hydra? Interesting. That's that's a fail. Um, on a fail strength saving throw. Uh, as this is happening, the Hydra is knocked prone in the water. Oh. Uh, so you Damn. see this uh brackish trudge come up, grab the Hydra's tail, pull it back, grab a head, and just rip it clean off. Um, the wound is just like waving around in the air as the neck is just flailing as three other heads are on that all turn to look at this brackish trudge 
Does it have any bonus actions? Does not. I think it did enough. Uh, and Kel, it is your turn. Kel is going to look at the group and it's just going to stand with like the scroll in one hand and is going to like point at like the crates and is going to look back at the group and say, let them fight. Uh, and I am going to turn and uh, and I am going to... Ah, fuck me. I guess D2... How deep is that water? It's in the middle of the fucking water. Oh my god. Um, I'm going to start making my way towards the bridge so that we can check D2 and D1 and I am going to stop by my dear friend uh, uh, Cynthia and I am going to shove a potion of healing greater down her throat. Go for it. Um, fantastic. That is 4D4. Cool, 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 cool. Plus four. Who's rolling? I got it. That is 14 right. points back. Thank you. Oh. All right. You're welcome. Uh, as you do that, uh, do you then run past Cynthia? Yes. Taking an attack of opportunity from the Hydra head that is next to Cynthia? Uh, the Hydra oh, head is considered prone. So it does get disadvantage. It still can make yes. an attack. It just cannot move. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say it is considered prone and engaged. Sixteen. Ah, uh, that just hits. As you run past, it just gets a tooth right into your foot and does fifteen points of piercing damage. As you run mother past. father. I roll another ten. Oh my I'm, god! I'm really great tonight. For the fucking you homo doing horrible shit on people. And okay, I need you to stop. Homophobic ass Hydra. Homophobic uh, and transphobic. Yeah. And with Jesus that, is that the Christ. end of your turn, Kel? Yeah, we need to get the fuck out of this swamp. <laughs> Sokka, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to cast sleep on one of the heads. Go for it. It takes another six damage on its turn. I did not have its turn. That was a reaction. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Y'all got to be disengaging. What do you, What do you do? What did you do? You cast what? Sleep. I'm casting sleep, and I thought it would automatically roll all the dice, I'm but making sure if I have advantage on sleep. It's no. It's a. It's a me roll. I have to roll. No, if the Hydra has advantage on sleep, she's. Uh, you're good. Oh no. Yeah, it's fine. It has multiple. Yeah, it has yeah. multiple. It has okay, I'm casting it at second time. level, so I'm rolling seven d eight. Oh yes, that's how it works. I, I'm. I'll learn how. Yeah, roll. you don't roll. Yeah, you don't roll to it. It's just hit points. Hit points. It's thinking. Twenty three. Twenty three points of. Uh, does not put that Hydra to sleep. Okay, uh, and then I've already backed up from my last turn, so I'm just going to start moving. I don't have to disengage, I don't think. Um, and that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Cynthia, you're next. Ayo, hey, I'm trying to get out of here, just politely. <laughs> you going to disengage? <laughs> you know, yeah. You disengage, you're going to um, run. What should you do it? I'm going to run. But are you going to use your action to disengage? So yeah. that way you don't get opportunity. Or do you want to use your full movement? Okay. So you disengage, you no know, attack. And where are you? Uh, I do want to use uh, feline agility, What's that? which lets me double my uh, movement speed. Awesome. Yo, yo. So you're going to head yo. down towards that bridge with Kel? I guess. Yeah, I'm doing that. Easily. Easily able to do that. And anything else you would like to do? You are now. Uh, tied with Kel on that, I'm going to guess that little mini island between the two bridges parallel to D2. Gotcha. Reaction, um, Kel's just going to look at you and be like, <laughs> make a fucking noise. That is it. Make a fucking noise, dog. It's into your hyper pop and let fucking <laughs> Kel handle this. Wow, <sighs> good thing you didn't say that to Manuka. Um, uh, Cynthia, is that the end of your turn? Any bonus yes, action? Yes, it is. Okay. Up next is the Hydra. 
it is going to make two attacks. It's going to make, actually, how many heads has it got left? Now it takes the damage. Now it takes six damage. Do you want me to re-roll the damage or take from the last I'll one? I'll just take the six. Okay. Um, and it's going to make two attacks on the brackish. That hits. down somewhere <laughs> so, second attack at the brackish also hits so I should just double that and then the third attack at Kumo because the head is still looking at you 20 to hit it does not damn it uh, and that is the last of its turn now Hmm. Forgot about that. What you see happen, though, as the Hydra's one neck that got ripped open is flailing, two heads grow out of it. Wait, didn't wait, wait. Take... Didn't it take fire damage? The fire from damage. Manuka Honey on did... the last turn from Manuka Honey. Manuka, did you do fire damage? Yeah, Green Flame, Flame bladed it. You did? Mm hmm. You can look at the roll log. If that's a thing. But Manuka went before the head was ripped off. The fire damage was before the head was ripped off. Yeah, did you did you attack before the Yeah. Manuka before had the head was removed? So Manuka went before the brackish. That's uh, since its last is since its last turn now. And its what? last turn Kubo, was... odds or evens. Odds or evens, Prince. You wanna you wanna roll <laughs> oh, DFE? Odds all right, or evens. I'm just all saying right. you, can, you can have it. No, no, you odds or evens. That's how we're doing it. We're how we're doing it. Odds or even. 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 Fuck you, Prince. <laughs> Come on, you it's your just, turn. I said you could have it. I, I know, said you could have gonna, it. I was gonna be fair. I was gonna be fair. Guys, we, we, we activated nice April. <laughs> Yeah, activate. I don't know what to do with this. Now I'm scared, for real. Kumo, please go. It is now your turn. Uh, Kumo's in a bloodlust at this point, so Kumo is just going to keep attacking. Oh God, hey, great. Go for Fight it. the hey, Kumo! The Hydra, the Hydra looks real damaged. Just like Cal. 15 hit. Dang, I'm yes. so glad somebody else recognized it. 15 is the uh, armor class. Excellent. Uh, so that's going to be 2d8. It's going to take three psychic damage, and I'm using the green flame blade, of uh -huh. course. Uh, and that's going to do five fire damage to the next head over. Okay. It took the damage. Still looking kind of bad. Uh, do, 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 do. Any bonuses or anything? Nope. That's all. Okay. Manuka, it's your turn. Uh, so, Kel's ran too, yes? Mm-hmm. Kel and... But it's everyone but Manuka and Kumo are... Yeah, you're going to turn. Uh, Kumo, I said I will hold this off. Everyone else has got to get the fuck out of here. Fight the Kumo! No, no there's only, yeah. it doesn't work if there's two people doing a last stand. One of us makes a heroic thing, and it's clearly that's my God, fuck, uh, fuck, so fuck, ah, uh, ah, and she's gonna reach out uh, in her pocket and pull out the uh, scroll of burning hands she just acquired. And to read it. Do you need? Uh, I don't remember scroll stuff. Is there an arcana check for this? I believe. I'm just gonna let you have uh, it. You, you just use it at it. You just use the spell as is. Yeah. Yeah, it's an action to do it. Okay. Yeah. Utilize it. Yeah, just to read it. You just have to be able to cast magic. Wow! Look who could cast magic. Uh, um, and then this is. Hands or do you have it? I got it pulled up. Okay. Um, so this will be forty-six. It is a dexterity save. Uh, to take half, yeah. Uh, I'm proud. Yeah, so... I forgot to stand up in the last movement. I failed the dexterity uh... check immediately because I did not remember to stand up. So that does 13, and then I'll add a d6 for an upcast. Uh, 17 damage total. 17? If it fails, it's safe. Hmm? 3d6? 
Yeah, I rolled. Well, it's a, it's a second level, so it'll be forty six. Yeah. Okay, yeah, forty six. Yeah. So seventeen damage. Uh, seventeen total. And is... any bonus actions or anything? Uh, yeah, bonus action. We're gonna see if this fucking Beazle Bub got a twenty one. Hits. Finally hits. Damage is. I gotta pull this up and pull this up. A whopping. What's my first? Three damage. Minimum damage. Well, so that was fire. So. Yes. So yeah, that happens. Then Beezlebub. It's only got one drill, so it just gets a little a little poking at after that. It's looking real bad. Looking real real bad. Kel. Yeah. What you doing? Uh, I am making my way to Electric Avenue. Uh, kind of as close as I can to that D2. Okay. Are you going to go in the water? No. Okay. You're... I am going to... I have Halfling Nimbleness. It. I'm 25 feet from it. Mm -hmm. If you do not go in the water, you're 25 feet from it. Oh, God damn it. It's from there. I really do fucking hate being a goddamn... I'm going to cast Mage Hand. Okay. I can cast it up to 30 feet, and I'm going to start slowly but stealthily pulling the crate through the water. How much can I... Mage Hand carry? What's the oh weight Oh, my limit? fucking God. I just want to know. Uh, I think five uh, pounds? You can use the hand to manipulate an object, open an unlocked door container, stow or retrieve an item from an open container, or pour the contents out of the vial. You can move the hand up to 30 feet each time you use it. Uh, it cannot uh, attack. It cannot activate magic items, and it cannot carry. It cannot carry more. I know, I know. It cannot carry more than ten pounds. And the thing is, what I'm going to argue is, I am not carrying it. I am moving it along water, that is buoyant, and this you know clearly what? is a okay. floating crate that has buoyancy. You can drag it through the water. Okay, sick. Uh oh, I messed then, up. You don't two mess more up. mushroom you monsters. No. I done you goofed. Just said no. I done goofed. You should have said, never mind. I am I a magic-wielding individual. I have two spell slots. They are both used. I'm going to use the things that no, I have. No, no, I, I think it's great. I think it's great. <laughs> this is why I tried to back out. That's <laughs> the end that's of your turn. Back out. That, is, that is my action. Okay. What would you like to do next? Uh, <laughs> my bonus action is that I'm going to pray. Um, and... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Pick a god and pray. And pray. Yeah, and pray. Do you pray? What's the prayer? <laughs> ah! I'm just gonna. I'm just going to. I'm right. just gonna. I'm just going to like look up and you see like a tree towards like a spider web. I'm gonna say, if there's anything that you can do right now to help us get the fuck out of this swamp with what we need, now would be a fantastic time. Roll a persuasion check, please. Oh, I'm good at that. I hope you're somewhere praying. Not as good this time. That was an eleven. Bully, I hate you. I just want to let you know. <laughs> really, and was honestly. That the end of your turn. That is the end of my turn. You're gonna hear in the back of your head. You know what I'm looking for. Find it, Safka. It is your turn. Um, sleep is ninety feet. It's not looking good. I'm gonna try to sleep so I can set my friends up for a real easy uh, <laughs> next round. Okay. So I'm ca just casting it at level one since it seems like it's not doing as what well, is hot. Uh, how many? How many? Ooh. Got you? <gasps> that was a good roll. Fucking good roll. I had 20 hit roll. points left on the Hydra. Oh, Yo! that's so convenient. Da, 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 I rolled a 20. Da, da, da. Go How many to heads sleep. Are left? Two. Yeah, that's a full little like <laughs> lullaby. Savka's so got. Kel, as you're praying, you just start to hear a gentle snoring as Savka has answered your prayers and put Pray to me, the bitch. Hydra to sleep. <laughs> yes. Gulp. <laughs> Or anything? Um, Prince 
Get out of the Zoom chat. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought there was a thing. Yeah, I just hope my favorites. I can't thing. help hey, myself. Hey, hey, there's we're not thing. at my turn yet. Just wait. There's a thing. There's because a also, thing. don't you wake up if something else attacks you? Oh, yes. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. But, but that thing would have got advantage. They would get and advantage and stuff. Like there is a benefit to doing. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, for I, sure. I, I, appre I appreciate okay. this. Um, I, I appreciate am... your futile attempts to best yeah, me. Yeah, God. We're in April's um... domain. No, I don't. I don't think. I think I'm gonna save my uh, my last bardic because I only got one okay. left. So. Then we're you wanna on waste anyone? Next to Cynthia, what you doing? I really don't know what else I could do right now other than keep running. <laughs> you, you, just see, you just see on something you see, you because see I Kel. gave it to you. You see, you oh, see yeah, Kel yeah. just slowly dragging this crate with the mage hand, <laughs> just at the edge of the water, going, "Come on, come on, come on." You see, you see, they have thieves tools out, and they're like, "Come on, come on." <laughs> I don't have any spell to help. I can. I don't know if I can. Oh, lordy. Um, Talk to that secret voice Fireball? in your head. Get, get Rum Tum Tugger in here to... <laughs> Assume Come that's on, your you father. Anymore. Damn, <laughs> My dad skimbleshanks the railway yeah. <laughs> What is not oh, my God. What is this? Wrong? <laughs> the CGI Jason my Derulo dad, appears. My dad, the cavity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then what you do it? Are you okay. praying for your father? You asking for help? I mean, I guess I'll also ask for help. Uh, <laughs> Very politely. What do you say? How do you ask for help? My father is a curious cat. Manuka, this is not your turn. Vin, uh, <laughs> Cynthia, please continue. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't expect to be asking for help twice in one day or twice at all, but we continue to be in predicaments and it's just like it's very flustered and hurried and like this itty bitty tears beating in her eyes. Cynthia. Like me. The voice changes. You know the voice though. You've heard it before. Mm hmm. So you finally come to join us then. I guess my child has done his their job. Welcome. And you see the Hydra get consumed by spiders. Just out of the mud and muck. Bugs come out and start attacking the Hydra. The brackish trudge made of uh mushrooms and spores and fungus is starting to uh decay in front of your eyes it's being ripped apart by the bugs of the swamp um, kumo does not like this the kumo wants to get the fuck out now let's see that hits just gonna make up some pick a different god next time <laughs> well, you were praying did we all just hear pss, 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 pss. you heard nothing you and then... heard, no one heard anything <laughs> Kel, in the back of your head, you start hearing a laughter. Oh, shit. As uh, you see, the Hydra is completely decimated. And the Trudge completely just falls into the water as everything around you has died. I did 94 points of damage. Yum. And you were out of initiative. And I think, you know what? I know we re-ended this on like a cliffhanger last time, but I think I think that would be a really good place to end this time, just to let everyone think about what just happened. And Long and hard. Why are you bugging me? Why are you bugging me? Uh because I just wanted to get under your skin. Technically, why? Technically, why are you arachnidding? <laughs> Welcome and thank you, everyone, for watching. We would like to thank our sponsors: Die Hard Dice, Sess and Zero Clothing, and 1985 Games. Thank you, the audience, and I would love before we end, cast wrap this up for me. Tell me where you are, where we can find you. Starting with, we'll go the other way. Bully. Hello, I am Bully. 
Uh, I run things over at Table Goth. Uh, go to our Twitch or YouTube to see our stuff there. Excellent. Wes? Hi, my name is Wes Franks. I'm the founder and creative director of Caring Comfort Studios. We have a variety of programming that we would love for you to watch either live on our Twitch or you can catch all of our VODs uh, over on our YouTube. Subscribe to both. Check us out. Follow us. Come hang out in the chat. We have a great time. I guarantee it. You can follow me at Thirst Trap Moth for Twitter stuffs and uh, it's all good. We're doing great. Ben. Hi guys, I'm Ben at VenVoxVA on Twitter. Um, we we have a lot of fun here. So <laughs> we also have a lot of fun on Twitter. So that's where I have my announcements and things like that. And, and that's me, baby. Rachel. I'm Rachel. You can find me online at Miss Petty Dreadful. Catch me playing games over at Table Goth um, and catch Bully and I playing some Stardew Valley on Wednesdays at 3.30 Central. Prince. Hello, I'm Prince, also known as Simples and Dice around the internet. And that is where you can find me, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all of that jazz. I'm a TTRPG slash variety streamer and I am on a bunch of stuff and things. The best way to find out all the stuff and things that I'm on uh, is to follow me on Twitter. Uh, and yeah, that's all I got right now because gross. Ew. The Kumo is grossed out. Kumo yeah. did not like that. The Kumo wanted victory or death, but there was not death. this kind of death. And I'm April. I'm the, been your DM, program manager for Gehenna Gaming. Don't miss our other shows, including Morkborg, Rites from the Holy Mountain, airing Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern, and Alien, and Anthology, airing... I don't think that one's right anymore. They're on a little bit of hiatus. We're on a hiatus. I yeah. did not update that. I I almost got out of this without messing up. To learn more about Gehenna Gaming and what we do, all of our upcoming convention information, visit GehennaGaming.com. And don't forget virtual... What's the voice? Don't forget Virtual HorrorCon is coming up. So go to VirtualHorrorCon.com to learn more before we go. Oh, now, now before we... I already asked you to... I'm April. You can find me everywhere as April Raygun. And uh, uh, have a good night. Fuck. Who was the, the those characters at the end that came in and out? Fucking. I'm an I'm watching a lot of Moon Knight. You've been watching a lot of Moon Knight? Just fucking. Yeah. <laughs>